All right, good evening. My name is Dilly Donnie, and I'm here with uh, my co-commentator, Max Hillman. Oh my god, hello everyone. Happy Today, Saturday. Saturday, Saturday night. It's a Saturday night, and we're feeling all right, and it's time for Paper Mario Bingo. That's the big news here. We got Paper Mario Bingo going on. We got uh, Butterlord 120, as well as Ice Wind. <laughs> That's me. How are you guys Hello. doing? Doing good. Hello. So what we're doing today, it's a uh, it's a co-op bingo. So the goal is basically between the two of them, they're going to kind of discuss and... Uh, sorry, it. I'm just saying this immediately. The, the Discord capture looks like it crapped itself. I'm not even going to like let Palmy know here. So, yeah. Apparently... Quick technical difficulties, everyone. We're just waiting on uh, some Discord stuff that's going on. So we will have the run here in a second. We're just going to resolve some audio stuff. And uh, when it's ready, you'll see the transition, and we'll be right with you. All right, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Big Dilly Donny. I'm here with, uh, I got a co-commentator with me, Max Hillman. Hey, it's Max Hillman. It's a Saturday night, and we're feeling all right, and it's time for Paper Mario Bingo with Icewind That's me. and Butterlord 120. Hey. Big evening planned out for you guys. We got a co-op bingo here. So basically the goal is the two of them are going to work together and try to get this entire card finished. So a lot of uh, strategic play here and uh, you guys are going to be in for a wild ride over the next 60 to 400 minutes. So That's 25 goals. 400 yeah, right. minutes? I don't think it's going to take that long. That's God, the hope, but does. things really can happen. You never know, right? So. Yeah, new bingo square. Do hundo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Dude, okay, glitches, Hundo. Oh, no. Stop. <clears throat> I'm ready for you guys are. I'm ready. Are you ready, Buttery? Um, yeah, hold on. One sec. Like, I have my fobs lead, and I am good to go. Big Dilly Donnie, are you ready? I am dot ready. Dot ready, dot ready. Chat, are you ready? Chat's ready. I don't really care. Um, <laughs> Damn. Right. Okay. We're all ready. All right. Uh, who wants to? Who does the count? Can we just do the countdown and then you guys will start it? I'm going to assume that's how it works. All yeah, right. Uh, all right. Three, two, one, go. All right. Um, Diploma is on here. Max was not lying. Yes. I love Diploma. Okay. Why would I lie about that? Yeah, I didn't. I knew he was. He was like, Butter, do you I want me to just do fourth degree and Diploma and just say that, like, those are together? Because, like, those are kind of together. I mean,. I'm good with whatever, honestly. All right, cool. I think only one of us has to do that. Okay. Um. Oh, we have old photo as well. Yo, defeat Junior Shipper four times. Oh man. Yeah, that's the one that I saw that I really liked. Four wait, times. Wait, wait. Old photo. How many battles are there even regular? Like, there's one. There's six. Two... Oh, six. Okay. Yeah, we're counting. We count prologues. Um. Yeah. So... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It that's is a battle. Bad. Yeah, it is tell, a battle. The, tell the good people just what this video game is all about. 
for yeah, people so, who've, who've never uh, seen Paper Mario for the Nintendo 64 ever before in their entire lives, and they've just stumbled to twitch.tv slash speedruns live, what are they What are they in for? Well, first off, you came to the right place, let me tell you. Um, if you've ever played any Mario game that's in 3D, this is exactly the same, except it's not entirely in 3D. <laughs> um, they call this basically. the Super Mario 64 of the N64. Yeah, incredible story, incredible movement, lots of battles, and you get to press B through text. So that's honestly the best part about this game. You just hold B, all the text does its work, and the uh, story is just fantastic. Yeah, luckily, we got to beat uh, Bowser and yeah. st- save the princess. That's pretty much it. That's luckily, for, uh, for Bingo's sake, uh, this game is incredibly broken. So, you know, normally in a, in a glitchless, <laughs> casual so playthrough... Stupid. Um, you know, it's going to take you a while to beat the game. Butterlord 120 and Icewind, they've done so many bingos in their, their very long lives that they, they know exactly how to confuse the game <laughs> and go to chapter eight when they should be in chapter two or go to chapter five when they should be in chapter six or get this partner when they're supposed to have this partner. They know how to do that. And so you're going to see a lot of broken stuff. You're going to see them get items that you didn't even know was in this game. Did you guys know? You probably didn't. Uh, yo, Butter. Okay, <laughs> let's try to think about how we want to do Which one is, is Mystical Key Yaki? I think that's Yaki, that's isn't Yaki, it? Yes. No, we have Yaki and Defeat Tubba. We both yeah. have to go to Chapter 3. So which one would you rather Ew. do? Um... I mean, I'm going to have to get Mega Rush. I don't know. I feel like those ones are pretty equivalent. Like, it's just an extra, like, couple minutes. Um, we'll both do that. I mean, I don't know. We'll both do most of Chapter 3 anyway. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, it's hard to think about who wants to do what. Um, who's going to do Old Photo? That's the question. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, and I mean, it's water. I mean... I think I'd say you're better at Koopa Koop favors. Plus, we also have, um, where is it? It was, it was another Koopa Koop favor on here. Luigi's it was uh, Luigi's autograph, yeah. And you can see how much they confuse the game. They're already at the final Bowser. Right here. <laughs> hey, uh, Blue Bob, uh, tell us about Bowser. So Bowser um, basically has a star on here, and it makes the battle a lot harder. But um, with the strategies they can use, hopefully they can beat him here. If not, it's not that big of a deal. You just have to play the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> um uh, uh dude we have a mistake on this card that's actually kind of lit yeah you can cook like literally anything like dude wait we, yeah we can cook dude that's gonna be so much fun like get that dried shroom and kabua village easy does that make a mistake i mean what else would it make i thought it made like something hold on hey blue bob tell us about princess peach where's she all about where's she's all about? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i'm getting called on for a lot of information here that i don't have um princess peach so she hey blue uh, bob tell us about camera Cooper. what she's all about no dry shroom makes a fried shroom we can't use a dried shroom <laughs> oh i didn't realize that okay so <laughs> we need something that like that's like inedible i think like wait okay check this out ice get the dried shroom make a fried shroom and then cook the fried shroom to make a mistake oh nice. my god dude you're a genius you're a genius um, fact, if you tasty. look up into the sky right now, you'll see Bowser's castle. <laughs> um, we are the Shrink virus. Stomp. Shrink stomp. Oh, Shrink Stomp. <laughs> that's the one in the volcano, isn't it? No, that's Sleep or, Stomp. Or, uh, Shrink Stomp is uh, right. after Blooper. Um, oh, yeah. Um, they have wa- I think I'll do Water Stone. I'm pretty good at Water Stone. Okay, got it. Um mystery that can literally be both of us we can yeah build literally mystery. yeah where even is a mystery there's one in chapter four i know that the this, world's can, a mystery boys the world's is true. a mystery you can buy um, mysteries isn't it post chapter three like like in the chapter three job at the chapter three oh job. maybe maybe you, you can buy a mystery there okay um i'll probably do the letters just because i i usually do letters yeah no slow go oh <laughs> <laughs> you guys oh, have to wear slow and though, cake, for uh, the rest of the run. <laughs> um, shooting star. I think when you get Luigi's autograph, you can get a shooting star like on the balcony. Blue Bob, tell us about these stars. What are they all about? <laughs> so Isn't there's that, a lot of stars. Wait, and basically, if you get them, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. It means that you beat that chapter. You get lots of abilities, things to do in battles. 
Um, right. Oh, so one of us needs to um... tell me about Goomsis, uh, Max. <laughs> Goomsis. This is Goomsis. Goomsis. She's uh, oh, she's man. a sister of Goombro, and she saves Mario's life, and he's forever in, in debt to her. <laughs> yeah, and it's actually uh, it causes him a lot of anxiety because he feels like you know, how am I ever going to repay her for the life that I've gained? her kindness and it's it oh actually it becomes you know later in in the story it becomes kind of his downfall you guys will find a bit about that during this bingo also <laughs> real quick ice we need 2x flower saver which is 25 star pieces and flower fields and one of them is hp drain so that's like 15 i think do you okay so if you're going to flower fields to get waterstone do you want to do the flower saver as well yeah hey guys okay. Star pieces are free, so you'll get them eventually. Hey guys, Eric S U O. He says Paper Mario 64 equals best Paper Mario that I ever played when I could still rent games in Blockbuster. Do you Dude, I think I rented game. Dude, I rented games from Blockbuster. You know what I rented from Blockbuster? I rented one of those Son the like the Sonic the Hedgehog movie with Metal Sonic. I rented that. Oh, the OVA is that what it is called? Sure. Yeah, dude, that sounds lit. I remember. I think I, I rented like the original Mario Party and then never returned it. Oh, so um, wow! It? Yeah, no, we I got him. It. We got him, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're doing diploma and fourth degree card? Yeah, I'll do diploma fourth degree card. I guess I can do old photo letters. I'll do mystical key. All right, so I'll do the um, photograph then. Okay, Yo, Max, yeah. tell me about hammerable cubes. All right. So <laughs> in this game, there are these. Um, there are Hammerable objects. cubes. <laughs> Jesus. There are these cubes. You know, it makes you think, is this game 2D? Is it 3D? The cubes, they tell you, this is actually a 3D game. But, you know, Mario, he's 2D. So you say, is this a 2D game? You don't know. But when you see the cubes, you know that you can hammer them. Okay, I'll get HP drain. Um, are you going to, like, highlight them on the bingo board? No, I'm going to star them. Um, I think you should probably star them just so, like, it doesn't, like, mess up our, like tracking of how much we have left does that make sense yeah true 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 <clears throat> um okay so one of us has to do the cookbook the other i guess we could technically i mean i just don't know like what's the best thing for like who who does what kind of thing okay it's true um oh we also yeah, beat so four juniors do... luckily i'm a fourth away through that after this junior fight yeah, fun fact to everybody watching, you can actually skip this fight, but um, Butterlord it's and Ice, stupid. they're just not as good as the game as some other people, so they can't, they can't do it. <laughs> oh my god, get out of here, right. dude. Do you want me to fight four junior size, or are you doing that? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, if you, if you can, uh, well, yeah, so that means you'd have to beat chapter one. Um, okay, so am I doing it, or are you doing it? That was the question. Can you do it, actually? Yeah, you do it, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing diploma, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um, all right. Cool. Defeat a cleft. That's like a free, free goal. That's so free. Like we'll just just get like a pout block or something. Oh my god, guys! Eric Suo. He asked a great question. He said, "I know that we know so little about it, but what do you guys think about Paper Mario: The Origami King?" I'll tell it's... you what, Eric Suo. If someone else mentions Paper Mario: The, or the Origami King in this stream, I will scream uh, into my mic for the rest. Uh... Easy Max, now. Stop. Max, relax, dude. <laughs> For the rest of the stream. <laughs> we apologize. As I, oh, crap. What I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be what? right back. Um, <laughs> Alright, so shout out to phones. Somebody got a call. Um, uh, sorry, no, the, the, the reason... Uh, the thing is, as Paper Mario streamers, we get that question a lot. Um, and we don't know enough information about the Paper Mario game to really say. Yeah, that's the thing about that trailer. They mostly kind of showed like little quick cuts and Mario just kind of walking places and having a, a Samus helmet on. I'll tell you what, he looks real good walking. In sync greater than Backstreet Boys. Now that's an interesting, uh, that's an interesting proclamation. I would, uh, I would agree with you as far as song catalog goes, but as individual members goes, I would say that there's, there's no member of In Sync who's as good as the Backstreet Boys' AJ McLean. <laughs> Let me tell you, go listen to the call by the Backstreet Boys, listen to those lead vocals, AJ McLean, and bring back one thing that Justin Timberlake, that Chris Kirkpatrick, that Lance Bass, that Joey Fatone, bring back one thing that they have done that can surpass the call. 
All right, let's let's stay on topic here, guys. All right, I'm back. Right. All on right. topic, Paper Mario, of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're you're welcome, man. All right, so I just got uh, power jump. Does anyone want to explain badges? Yeah, so badges, basically you get them and they give you different attacks that you can use within battles and they use what are called FP or flower points. Uh, you can build those up throughout the game and then uh, those badges can either do extra damage or you know, give you some bonuses such as more HP or FP or things like that. And um, they can be very strategic, especially in a speed run. They're, they can really speed things up a lot. Yeah, so luckily we're going to be going to uh, Chapter 3 later. Both of us are. And so we're going to be able to get the really overpowered item that just lets <laughs> us like win the game. Which is really nice, because we're fighting some hard dudes later. Uh, uh, Timmy, uh, they, they don't have any spaces yet. Uh, they've just started. So <clears throat> know, once they get going, they'll they'll get some spaces there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so... I guess one of us can do the FP pluses. I don't know who wants to do that. That's like should be pretty easy though. Yeah, because there's um, one um in the Kuros Fortress. Like Yeah, and then there's one um there's one in, in the In the Forever Forest. Yeah. Well I was thinking the one in the, the bad shop you can always get. That one's really easy. Oh true. But it's also RNG dependent. So... That's true. So it could be a long time. <clears throat> I guess we'll just kinda see. Uh twenty five HP. I'll probably do that. I don't know how much stuff I'm fighting, but... Um, Should we both get the FP plus, like, in Kuro's Fortress, just to be safe? Or, I, like... I think so, yeah. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, just note as well, Butter just did a swag hammer. Uh, huge, true. huge optimization in the game. <laughs> uh, if you press B, same frame you hit a loading zone, the uh, the hammer comes out. Saves no time, but it looks it looks good. It looks cool. That's, uh, that's huge, so... You can also see me failing the swag hammer as well. Yeah, which uh, actually saves oh, I missed time. It. <laughs> saves time. True. Um, also, I saw Glower mention earlier that the mystery and the calculator are right beside each other. Is it is the mystery okay. in, a, in a hidden block or is it? On I the think track? so. It's probably in a in a hidden block. Uh, Max, why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Goomba King? Tell us your thoughts and opinions on him. Oh my God, I love the Goomba King. He's got striped pants. He's got what color like... are his pants? This is a Chuck Quizmo quiz. I, I hope you're ready. What? There's a the Chuck Quizmo question. quiz that says, uh, "What are the Guma King's pants colors?" Assuming no, look uh, at the stream. Assuming butter white. doesn't have a color yes. correction, I would I'm say looking at, I'm looking red at the stream, but I knew it was red and white. <laughs> you're correct. He's got a crazy castle. It's just one room. Also, be totally honest, Ice. I totally forgot to get. The dolly and the other star piece in prologue, but that's okay. That's okay. Can... Star piece, there's like a million star pieces in this game, you'll get them eventually. Yeah, thank god you're honest, especially once you get uh, ultra hammer. Yeah, true. So, then do you want to do the chapter four stuff just so that you can like go there and grab all of them? Yeah, so I'll get calculator, yeah, you'll get calculator and frying pan, get cake, um, yeah, get cake. Uh, this frying pan. Do you want to do? Do you want to do cookbook also? Um, yeah, I can do cookbook. Okay, great. And just like do the cookbook stuff. Oh yeah, because I guess one of them is gonna have to be the the honey ultra, which is gonna be annoying. Well, but shouldn't be that big of a deal. Do we lose the cookbook, or like when we give it to? Oh, you. I think if you do the cookbook first, <clears throat> so like get the 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 jelly and the super. Um. And then, for, I mean, uh, oh, you'd have to get an Ultra Shroom, that would suck, but... For Nyans in the chat, that would be a Le Book to Cook. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Sunset, yeah, this card was not very nice. Yeah. I'm kind of, we're, we're, I'm looking forward to Diploma, though. Diploma's gonna be really fun. Yeah. I'll, I'll come up with a strat for him. Yo, okay, <laughs> hear me out. Stone Cap, Ultra, and Kumbario. <laughs> But I'm gonna have Mega Rush though. That's the thing. Like I could just grab like two Repel gels. That's true. Dude, I'll, oh wait, I'll grab the I'll grab the Repel gel in uh, Junior Troopers Playground, and the one in Chapter Five, and then I'll just use two Repel gels and just power bounce him and shell shot him until he dies. You guys are kind of hearing our our uh, our players now. They're 
they're figuring out how they're going to go about completing this card. Good thing about Paper Mario is that there's 20 minutes of prologue at the start of every run. That's 20 minutes where you get to figure out exactly what you're going to do for the rest of the game, which is kind of a blessing. In other categories of the game, it's curse. But in True. Bingo, it's kind of a it's kind of a blessing because you get a lot of time to kind of think about your actions and how you're going to go about it. Because there are tons of different ways that you can go about going through this game and getting the items you need to get. Um, and uh, ice and, and butter, they're two of the best at routing bingos. Especially in this case where you have to get every single objective as opposed to a regular mm -hmm. bingo where you're just going for a row or something like that. So mm -hmm. you have to plan out uh, you have to plan out a lot of stuff all at once. So. Yeah, so part, kind of how uh, some of the one of the ways this game works uh, in terms of story progression is it uses a, a trigger system. Um, so if you reach certain points of the game um, or complete certain objectives, uh, the game will assume that you've completed everything prior to it. Uh, so getting certain items will put you in a certain story state, um, which means that certain things become unavailable, uh, and so you have to be careful with uh, what you're doing and when. To make sure that you can actually accomplish all your goals. Okay, let's see. Um, That's something interesting. Is like everything isn't necessarily tied to like story progression. Like for example, partners are not tied to story progression. So you can like straight up skip partners. And random items are like I believe the the hammer in chapter two is what actually just sets the story to be as if you're in chapter two and you're not anywhere ahead of that. Right, right, Am right. I correct right. In that? Yes, yeah. you are. Because like. Big fans of Big Dilly Donnie in chat right now, guys. That's true. Shout out to Big I, Dilly I do Donnie appreciate you guys, uh, you know, all your support. I uh, I appreciate you guys coming in here. I, uh, you know, I typically stream uh, stuff that's not pay related, but seeing you guys, you know, follow me wherever I go, much appreciated. <laughs> um, okay, so we got a couple more. We got a couple minutes of cutscenes, unfortunately, but yeah. Or the fortunate it, thing about think... this game is you can do a tool-assisted speedrun, a literal tool uh, called a clamp you can put on your <laughs> B button, and it actually yeah. goes uh, goes through all the text for you. All you have to do is hold B, so that's uh, one of the best parts about this game. Like you could go up and take, you can get up and take a P during either one of these cutscenes that they're in, and not oh, lose and any I time. am. <laughs> By the way, Ice, um. Are you doing uh, Yaki or Tababa? I'm doing my, I'm doing Yaki. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine goals so far marked off. Okay, <clears throat> I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven marked off right now, but like a lot of them are like really easy. I yeah, could do like... the chapter two stuff. So I could do slow go honey ultra. Jelly Super, if you want. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, I don't know how to do slow go early, unfortunately, so we'll just uh, figure that out. Um, I honestly don't know how to do slow go early either. <laughs> but you literally just do the puzzle and just go up there. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really easy, I think. It's um, like not that much of a difference. Uh, sushi is literally uh, yeah, just a whatever goal. Yeah, clap is a whatever goal. Mistake is a whatever goal. I mean, we can like both get sushi. I mean, it went, went hard to get. I mean, sushi. I, I think I literally need to uh, get sushi. So we'll just both mark that goal, I guess. It's whatever. Also, important tech. Um, whenever a text box gives you like a yes or no question, if you hit B, it'll say no for you automatically. That's true. It helps us. Uh, uh, um. Uh, skip tutorials, which is the hardest trick in the game. It actually is. You just instinctively press A. Dude, I've done that actually so many times. It's so stupid. <clears throat> so you're seeing uh, you're seeing Butter and uh, Ice. They, they're both receiving the item known as the Lucky Star, uh, which is technically optional if you can glitch the game. Uh, what the Lucky Star does is, uh, like a lot of Mario RPGs, is that there are timed hits, action commands that will add damage to your attacks or negate damage from uh, enemy attacks. And the Lucky Star is an item that basically gives you access to that mechanic. Um, you can technically skip it. There's a way to skip towards the end of prologue. Um, unfortunately, that also kind of limits uh, 
what moves we have to our disposal because if you try to use some moves with a partner or with Mario and you don't have the lucky star, you will uh, crash the game. And we don't want to do that. And even though it saves a good chunk of time by just not going and, and watching those cutscenes and getting the lucky star, um, getting the lucky star and being able to use those attacks um, is just so much faster in the long run and way safer. Yeah, um, I've, I've seen a lot of people, myself included actually, and Jcog has done it, uh, but it, where people skip Lucky Star and then they will softlock because they just can't use an attack and they don't realize it. And then they're just like, oh, well, I'm stuck now. Ha -ha. It's pretty funny when it happens, uh, but it's yeah. really bad. So you saw Butter <laughs> just right completed there. the first glitch of the, uh, the run yeah. here called Black Toad Skip. Um, so let's see, clip out of bounds and you can skip actually talking to Merlin or whatever his name is. Merlon. Let's get to chapter one a little early. Merlon. And uh, Ice right, just finished it there as well. So good job, gentlemen. And uh, there'll be lots of glitches to come. I want to give a quick shout out to Cloud1. Hi, Cloud. Hi, Cloud. Hi, Cloud. Hi, Cloud. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I am doing the four junior troopers. So that means I actually have to complete chapter one. That's a, that's a poggers, dude. Yeah. You guys are going to see some uh, 3.14 jumps, which is nice. Dude, That's those great. are my favorite jumps. So are you both beating Chapter 1? No, Just I'm not. Okay, so Jeff, so you'll see. So Butter, <laughs> Butter is going to beat Chapter 1. Ice is not going to beat Chapter 1. So that's going to be the first deviation between the two of them. And you're going to see kind of how um, this game gets really broken. Uh, there are several chapters that you really don't have to beat at all. Um, the biggest necessity of most chapters in this game are the partners that you uh, receive from those chapters um, and their abilities and how their abilities affect the overworld. Um, in Ice's case, uh, he's going to want to get Cooper and Bombat. The fans? Bombat the fans? is the most important. Bombat is incredibly important. It, it, she kind of goes along with the glitch known as Blue House Skip. You're going to see that. Super famous. You'll know it when you see it. Uh, but first, for the fans, for quiz. the fans, it's for the fans. You got it. I'm really, proud of, you. I'm really proud of you guys. <laughs> Thank you. I so I actually do need the, that star piece. Uh, I've been collecting a couple earlier. I need, I think, 15. I'll double check my uh, my cheat sheet. Um, I but I need a couple. Yeah, for HP drain, I think it's 15. I think you said 15 earlier. Um, so I need to collect some of those. And Chuck Quizmo, when you see him, he's just he's worth it to grab. He's fun. Um, Big puzzle here RP. too. A lot harder on the Japanese version than the English version. These uh, fuzzies, they 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 start ripping by the third time around. <laughs> You're probably wondering, Ice, how do you know Japanese? How do you know uh, how to answer Chuck Quizmo's question? You know, she Isn't jokes on you. I actually do read time? Japanese. I know how to read Japanese, and he knows how to read Japanese. <laughs> no, it's the uh, same. It's the same every time. So it's just really easy. The first one is three. I think the second one is one, but I actually don't know the second one. Yeah, Ice, what's your favorite anime? Yeah, I'm a big fan of Naruto, honestly. Naruto, eh? Naruto. Dragon Ball Z 2. I like Dragon Ball Z 3. <laughs> I was gonna say, Dragon Ball Z 2, so does that mean Super or GT? No, it's GT, dude. Oh, yeah. no. That is a Date Bio. That's <laughs> GT, I'm a big fan of Baby Vegeta. Baby Vegeta, kind of cool, honestly. Oh my god. I actually got really good fuzzies. No! I don't know nice how to hit a tree. Nice fuzzies. Um, Nothing better than some nice fuzzies, let me tell you. Because some bad fuzzies uh, can cause some serious issues. Yeah. Um, at least in speedruns. I don't know about bingers. But uh, star points are actually incredibly important. Because you have to level up at certain times because that heals you and everything there. So um, routing your star points is phenomenally important. And uh... Yeah, so in this run, I'm going to want to level up four times, I think. Um, because one of the goals we have is uh, um, <clears throat> 25 HP. Uh, so whenever Mario levels up, whenever he reaches 100 uh, star points, he levels up and he can increase one of his stats by five, or he can increase HP or FP by five and BP by three. Um, and so at one point I need to reach uh, 25 HP. Uh, I need to end the run with 25 HP um, in order to uh, complete that last goal. And I think I'm going to do that one, right? Because I'm going to fight... I'll fight Super Blooper, so I'll probably do that one. 
This makes butter sense. over here on uh, on your left or maybe your right. I'm not actually uh, right the stream on the right. Oh, side. He's on the right. He's on my. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. I'll get it later. Okay. Uh, he's doing some uh, some favors for this old Koopa. Uh, Big Dilly Donnie, why don't you tell me about this old Koopa? Yeah, he's Sorry, a Koopa. He's been around for a while, hence his age. Um, you know, over time, you get a little bit older, and he has to do some favors for him as he's you know not as mobile, not as agile as he used to be. Um, and in return for those favors, he will give you some uh, some items and things that are going to be required for this bingo. Also, let me get another pow block just to be safe. Um, don't forget the Koopa Leaf because I think you needed a Koopa Tea. Yeah, I got the Koopa Leaf. Okay, I almost forgot it. So You'll probably notice. Do... Oh, go ahead, Butter. Go ahead. I was You're just the runner. Say how I'm going to do the all card strats for the camp and do double pow block. Oh man, and then dude, you'll that's notice... gonna give you a Thunderbolt for Junior Troopa. Yeah, you'll notice in this game that items are incredibly overpowered. Um, Actually. Badges, badges are as well, but items more so, just because uh, no. one, there are a lot of them, you're able to, to just get a lot of them pretty fast, and they tend to do a lot of damage um, pretty easily to all enemies. Um, yeah, to... in the late game, you get to deal big damage with your attacks, but in the early game, you really don't get to do much. So using items just is really much stronger than any attack you will do. So Ice is making his way into the fortress here. He's not going to be completing all of Chapter 1, but he does have to go in and get Bombette, and she is important. Yeah, Butter's and once I get Bombette... Thing. Once I get Bombette, I'm just going to leave, and then you'll see another really cool trick uh, called Log Skip. I think I just untimed that, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I missed the block. I'm bad. Does lose time. You just lost a good, I think it's... I, I want to say it's like one a frame. Or, it's one or two frames. So. Yeah. Yeah, try to be better next time. Alright, alright, my bad, my bad. It's been a while for Koopa Bros. It's Fireflower Pow Block. Yes, that is correct. Yeah, Pow Block first. Otherwise, they get. Oh well, yeah, but I was just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually think it it's that much slower, but because I think they like, all get up at the same time. Yeah, they just get up, so it's like slightly slower if you Fireflower first. Yeah. So they just got one of the most broken badges in the game, or Ice did. Butter's about to. Oh, here, wait, sorry. Here's a really cool Power trick uh, called. Um, staircase skip so i could just go through the wall there and uh there i just skipped the staircase sorry continue <laughs> yeah so staircase <laughs> you just skip the staircase basically you drop down a level and then you can clip out of bounds and it takes you up two levels which then takes you to the top and you can just right enter a door which takes you uh to this next cutscene where you can get on that mm -hmm. and so normally i would have to go do a series of like three fights um uh which in order to get nice. a key yeah, so Butter has to do those, so you're going to see him do those afterwards, but uh, doing that lets me skip them, um, which is nice. Yeah, for my sake, uh, this lets me have Bomb at for those fights, which is really nice, because Bomb on the Koopas is really good. Bomb at is just really strong. Bomb at and Paracarry are probably the two strongest uh, partners in battle. Honestly, um, like when you get Bomb at, I think she's the most broken, just because she does so much damage relatively to when you get her. Right? Dude, I feel, yeah, like, I actually know exactly what you mean. And then Paracarry, same, but it's, like, a little bit after, but still getting Paracarry in Chapter 2 is insane. Yeah, I don't like, think they expected young children to be able to mash for Bomb to get it up to max power. So they thought it would be, like, proportionate to what you do, but us adults know how to mash. Yeah, little did they know <laughs> that 25-year-old men would be playing this game super <laughs> fast one day. Also, fun fact, when you bomb this wall in the jail cell if you're like the in the exact wrong spot you can soft lock because oh dude just, that's so lit it, i've actually never soft locked there it. i've seen it a couple times and I've done my one. my goal is to never have that happen to me <clears throat> just don't be in the wrong spot you're right i did a casual playthrough back in like 2015 or something and i soft locked there and never finished my playthrough <laughs> surprise you came back <laughs> again. yeah right so, if you saw a tiny, tiny optimization there, Butter started by power jumping the bomb on the very right. And uh, by doing that, it makes the menuing a little bit faster. 
You're doing the glitchless strat? Yeah, also, since I am not going to level in the pit, I'm actually going to hit this heart block real quick. So I have FP. Oh, quick. right, yeah, because you did staircase skip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now Where that I have my med, I'm going to leave. Um, but first, I'm going to do this cool little trick here to get uh, this FP+. Plus. Um, let's see if I can get it. So normally there's a, there's a wall, uh, they got the bomb with Bombette, and then um, go into a pipe. But I'm gonna try this. Oh, it's... oh my god. I messed up that fight, that's okay though. No! <laughs> I'm so bad. I was supposed to first strike Bombette, but I got stuck on the corner there, but that is just fine. Uh, is that gonna be enough? No, that's not enough. So what Ice is attempting to do right now is uh, a, a trick called Loading Zone Sword. So when you, when you touch a loading zone, um, from the air, it takes two frames for Mario to there actually take the loading zone um, into the next room. Now, if you jump on the frame you land uh, and then hit the control stick, you can actually move with that loading zone stored uh, as long as you're jumping frame perfectly. Um, and hitting the stick relatively fr frame perfectly, you can start moving Mario and kind of skewing his angle when he enters the loading zone, which in turn, when you go into the next room that the loading zone was for, um, will take him at a skewed angle, which almost will always bring you out of bounds and can bring you places that you're normally not supposed to reach, like that badge. Yeah, so I normally I'm supposed to blow up a wall and then go into a pipe. Uh, doing that saves a couple seconds. It also just looks cool, so... Loading zone storage is also used uh, at the end of chapters when you get the cards. If you loading zone storage jump into the card, you can then go through the loading zone rather than go through the entire Peach cutscene, which is huge. Uh, and so I'm actually about to do another variation of loading zone storage, uh, except it's not going to use jumps. Um, so loading zones extend um, infinitely, uh, infinitely upwards in this game. Sorry, I was waiting for a music cue. Um, and so because of that, uh, and because of the way out of bounds works in this game, I can do some really cool things and let's see if I can get this, uh, blue Bob, can you maybe explain a little bit more about like how log skip works? Yeah. So basically the way this works is you set up in a position and then you no. hit the zone, which he just hit unfortunately there. Um, but if you hit it and then you fall basically out of bounds again, right away. Mario drops down, and then you go back, kind of continuously falling out of bounds. And then once you hit the ground again, you're skewed enough so that when you go through this loading zone, you're actually far enough out of bounds that your position gets skewed to the point where you can actually fall right through the ground again and then fall below the log. Just like that. Beautiful. Yeah, there uh, it is. probably a little bit delayed on... on again, the and line. then he lands beyond these logs, so... Um, Basically, that's conditional on finishing chapter one, typically. But since he didn't do it, but he has Bombette, he can now bomb this rock, take the train, which then makes the game think that he's finished chapter one, and the logs won't be there in the future. Yeah, so that was kind of that. So this lets me skip, yeah, the second half of chapter one that Butter's currently doing. Um, Ooh, those are and so, by the way. yo, let's go. Uh, and so now by taking this train, like I was explaining with the trigger system earlier, uh, now that I've been to this part of the game it assumes that i've already beaten chapter one so it clears uh everything that normally unlocks when you beat chapter one okay so what do i need to do i need is it worth it just... no i'm gonna come back to get the slow go so i'll probably get the ultra shroom later should i just beat a cleft while i'm here i think i have a pal block still I mean, if not, you could always get pair carry and beat the cleft. But there's also that's true. In chapter three, is there not? There's uh, uh, there's no, those are hyper three. clefts. Those those don't count. Those are hyper. Oh right, that is true. Do do clefts have two HP or three? Two. Good question. Do they have two. Okay. Pretty sure it's two. Okay, I'll just use a pal block. Yeah, it's an interesting thing about our bingo. So like, there's variations of enemies, like how there's Koopa and like Dark Koopa and Paratroopa. Like if it says defeat a Dark Koopa, like a regular Koopa would not count, obviously. Yes. And same with like Cleft and Hyper Cleft. Yeah, Hyper Clefts are enemies uh, later in the game that uh, you'll see. I think Monty, the Monty Moles have three. That's probably why I was thinking that. And it's interesting because um, there's a goal that's defeat a chain chomp, and the only regular chain chomp in the whole game is the one that's in the fight with Toot and Koopa. And Toot and Koopa is the uh, the chapter two boss. 
I I barely touched that ball oh. bill. That's so tragic. No. Okay. So I I have getting four. Really sucks in the first portion of the game because your coin count actually really matters. And when you get in a battle and you escape, you uh, you fart out a bunch of coins. So Butter did a really good job there at getting the coins. Wait, and fight. Oh, okay. Whatever. It's one of the worst plays to actually get one because the cannons are still flying at you and you're trying to hang on to all your coins. Hey, I defeated a cleft. Woo, let's go. <laughs> That's right, folks. That is our first goal. So if we let's add go. a pace of 36 minutes per objective, <laughs> we're looking at about, uh, about 14 hours. So you guys are in for a good ride. <laughs> No, don't worry. The first, the first, yeah, part of this game is uh, definitely a lot slower than the the last part. So yeah, because typically um, for a Paper Mario Bingo, usually the first like 30, 40 ish minutes are setting up for your actual goals, depending on what your I'm goals this. are, and then you kind of just go from there. Because typically, what you do is get you do like prologue, get bombet, uh, get paracarry, and then from there, it's generally when you start to stray from your path. Or yeah, you... once once you have those two partners, you basically have free reign of every other section of the game. Mm -hmm. The only ones that are kind of hard to get to are uh, chapters six and seven. Um, you can get there, but it obviously takes a lot longer of a setup, which is a little bit unfortunate. But um, we yeah. don't have many goals in that part of the game. Uh, one of them is Waterstone, which is like a really long goal that Butter's going to be doing. But it's um, not too that's bad like... of a goal, honestly. Like, yeah, no, it could be worse. <laughs> okay, in yeah. a co-op, in a blackout, it's not that bad. But in a single bingo, you'd avoid the. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. I would never do that one in a single. Because one Butter needs to get to chapter six. Um, he needs to get four um, magical seeds that open the entrance to chapter six. Um, and one of those seeds is in Toe Town. Uh, there's another one um, in chapter two, the area that uh, Ice is in right now um there's another one in the uh entrance area of chapter three and then the last one is in chapter five and it requires you to beat chapter five um to get so you'll see butter doing all of that he's going to be going to a lot of the chapters in this game in fact i think we'll, we'll be going to every chapter except for seven and eight are you guys yeah, yeah. Seven? Mm -hmm. No, um, I don't think we're going to seven. Yeah. No. Right, uh, cool. Also, butter. I just thought about this, but um, can you do two FP plus because you're going to fight Chapter Three Junior Troopa? Uh, so Absolutely you can just grab the one. Not. Oh dang! Sorry. Dang! Got that would have been such a good time save. A little bit of contention <laughs> here between runners. <laughs> one good um, thing goes in this game is that you don't actually have to beat the game. You just have to do the objectives. There's some games where you have to do all the objectives and beat the game. Um, yeah. Yeah, beating well. this game would make bingos unfun. Like right now, bingos are fun. If we added uh, beat the game, it would just be go to become an unfun category. Yeah, so be regular speedrunning at that point. Yeah, <laughs> I'm do you... in the Discord and say that I think we should uh, have to beat the game to finish a bingo. Stop! Just stop right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you're telling me I need two FP plus and two final saver. Yes. It's crazy. Also, just be certain the. Flower server in Flower Fields is Blueberry in the well. I'm I pretty believe sure. so. Yes, I believe it. Yeah, that that sounds correct. Uh, oh yeah, because the other one is, is Happy Flower, which is the the hitting the trees in the right order. But um, yeah, the Flower Saver is Blueberry in the well. So Butter's yeah. one of the most unfun parts of a speedrun, which is the Peach cutscenes. <laughs> Low movement. That one's not that bad, luckily. Yeah, luckily the first one you really don't have that far to go. But uh, later in the game, as far as the speed run goes, it's very tedious. There, there isn't much as far as you know movement goes. All you can do is move your joystick, and uh, yeah, unfortunately well, we, don't, uh, we don't have uh, probably super speed swapping. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. that'd be kind of lit. So you get to you get to skip some, which is nice. But uh, that's not the case in Bingo or well, I guess for Chapter One. Yeah. So I guess the bright side about doing chapter one is I can get log skip skip, which is pretty cool. Shout out to log skip skip. Also yeah. as glitchless log skip. <laughs> glitchless log skip. Yeah, it's pretty big. Like you just Ice go receives... and you go right through where the logs would have been. Ooh, and they're just not there. They're nice, what a nice concept. To to so the, the badge, the badge you just saw Ice get. Oh, and let's let him do blue house skip really quick. I'm so Shut bad at blue house skip. 
Ah. No, 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 you got it. You got it. You want to do the LZS method? There we go. No, I really don't. <laughs> so um, it's called Blue House Skip. That's a very good game breaking glitch. Basically, you spin and then there's a little seam in the wall that you can kind of clip on. And then you, if you're neutral and do a frame perfect jump on that, you can then jump again and clip into the house. And that lets you skip ahead to uh, the sewers, which is where it's kind of a hub for a lot of the other chapters. So. Yeah, so this is where you can get unlock like fast travel pipes. Why was that Koopa there? I've okay, interesting. You're not supposed to be able to have access to that house until uh, after chapter five. Um, so being able so to yeah, if I beat this early, yeah. is super convenient. Yeah, so beating this boss here will let me get in chapter five. And by doing so, the game will assume he's beaten. Chapters one, two, three, and four at that point, so he gets access oh, right. to the, the powers of those star spirits as well. Um, and really, which is huge, is Star Storm, which you get after chapter three. Um, that one is chapter three, I think, right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That one, that's a really important attack because it does seven damage to all enemies, which is it's huge even at the end of the game. Dude, but how did I do that? Okay, whatever. Nine. I think, yeah, casually Misty, and speedrunning wise, I think Star Storm might be the best Star Spirit power. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Star Storm is kind of really broken. It's just, like, so good. Especially for so early in the game. Like, seven right. damage is huge. Even yeah, so on. Dude, am I just really that bad? Can I not power bounce correctly? Whatever, blooper's dead. Uh, <laughs> I think <laughs> Whatever, like, I killed him. Power bounce caps, so. Different enemies in the game have different... Basically, you can only power bounce them so many times, otherwise it would be way too broken. You can just do it infinitely. Um, and there's sort of two different things. You can either lose a power bounce, A, because you missed the action command, or B, you actually got capped by it. Um, and yeah, and the ca cap getting capped is completely random in this game. Um, so if you get capped, like that, it's just like bad luck. Uh, usually it's not a big deal when you've like routed around... Uh, the possible like cap chances you can get but sometimes you can just get screwed if you just get really bad rng um against blooper i just missed it because i'm bad at video games <laughs> but uh it's not that big of a deal he's not that hard of a boss so yeah it's um, not like you die it just takes a little longer that's all yeah but um you can actually tell by the animation whether you missed a bounce or you were actually capped by the way mario actually bounces off of him but um yeah, it's typically routed so that there, there's very few scenarios where you could actually die because of bad caps, and the odds of that ever happening are pretty slim. But all right, so yeah, I'm gonna be grabbing sushi here. Um, sushi is a partner that uh, so all these like brown like dock things that you see. I need to get letters. Um, okay, I'll grab. I don't need this like eight letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I just had to think letters. about letters really quick. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, there's a letter in this room, but I don't actually need it. I'm going to grab some different letters that are a little bit less bad um, to grab. I just kind of remember that was a goal we had. Uh, but yeah, so these little brown docks, it just lets me swim. Um, and this is a really important badge I need to grab. Shout out to Kendall. Oh, damn. <laughs> she did the Kendall. Holy crap. <laughs> That's oh, super. Yeah. That guy's really hard to avoid, but sometimes he'll just stand there and dance. And yeah, and then you just you can just do that. Ice. The Kendall is legendary. Yeah, that was for you, Kendall. I love you, Illy Kendall. She's Illy. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and the bright side about me being chapter one is I get speedy spin for Mount Rugged, which means I get to do good old early seed with speedy spin, which is really nice. Yeah, that's that's huge. Ice is doing a glitch here called Raft Skip. Uh, so it lets you get right into the, the volcano here uh, without having to save all the Yoshis. It saves like 20 minutes. And, yeah. and I, I skipped like literally the worst part of the game. Yeah, so. one of, and it's actually it's one of the most iconic um, parts of this game, I would say, would be the, the Yoshi hunt in the beginning of Chapter 5 just because um, it's such a cool area and, and you know, it, it, super iconic music, but we just skip it all because it's slow. Yeah, and boring. yeah it sucks. I hate it. It's one of the more kind of challenging technical parts, just as far as movement goes and everything. So, you know, getting to skip that, I guess, is 
Makes things a little easier. You saw Ice yeah, made that, uh, nice. that cycle on this moving platform. That's some good movement from Ice Wind. Is he gonna do the? Uh... Oh, I missed it. I can't jump. I'll try it again for the fans. Yeah. I probably won't be able to do it though. I'm really. I don't practice this trick. Is it the jump? It's called Glower Jump, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's Glower Jump. I don't know how to do it really well enough. So it's kind I'll of skip tough, it. But uh... it saves like five seconds. It's just a cool little out of bounds thing you can do. Yeah. Saves a deceivingly small amount of time, which I never realized when I was uh, in glitch categories. Yeah, I think it looks it like it in. saves. It looks like it saves more time than it does. Doing a oh, little thing there where uh, you can just jump and kind of skip this little block puzzle, and then when he comes back, since he'll be getting the hammer here, game just assumes he did it, and when you see he's going back, the blocks will just be down in the lava as if he had completed the puzzle. Ice, yeah, that like jump around letter the lava. LCS. You that got jump. the letter LCS? Oh my god, you're so good. I was not even looking at that. Oh one. man, I'm gonna have to rewatch that. I'm, I, I missed it. Right. First try oh, early seed also. Let's go, dude. Butter's going off, dude. You Butter's should actually all, killing it. Everybody who's watching should be super impressed by Butterlord120. Yeah, he was there called early seed. Butter, or Max, tell us all about early seed. So there's a seed that you gotta get to get to chapter 6, and Butter just got it early. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so that trick that uh, Butter did uh, saves about like 30. What is it? Like, what speed is it? It's like closer to like 20, it's right? 20, yeah. 20, 40 ish yeah. without. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, so there's like a little, there's like a tiny little gap uh, in the wall in the geometry. And so if you like position yourself correctly, uh, you can um, spin and just clip right through the wall. Uh, which lets you get out of bounds and do some things. And uh, yeah, you can get to that. So normally you need paracarry, so he would have to go get paracarry and then backtrack back to that to get the seed and then leave. So you can do blue house skip. Yeah. Alright. Um, See, so yeah, I'm... So right now I'm just yeah trying to beat chapter 5. I think my route is going to be I'm going to beat 5 just so I can get star spirits because I don't want to do... Diploma without star spirits. I think that's the play here. Yeah. yeah. Um, and chapter five is a great one where um, with a glitch you can actually beat the chapter without ever even fighting the boss. Which that's, is, that's actually one of my favorite glitches because it's so easy. Yeah. Um, you actually get the card for this chapter a little bit after actually beating the boss. Um, you go through some loading zones and stuff. So what that allows you to do is actually skip the boss fight itself and then go and get the card. Ah, no, I missed it. That was a perfect lineup, maybe. Dang it. Uh, so there's another little glitch here you can do where if you use paracarry, uh, like you kind of get into this little scene here and then use paracarry, uh, you can touch the loading zone. Uh, so normally you have to like push a block uh, like two miles and then uh, <laughs> like watch this rock like roll and then kill Colorado. So we actually just saved Colorado. So, so you know, save the turtles. Yeah, we're doing a pacifist run. Uh, that's actually. not the thing I want. On Butter's side, uh, he just... I want that. Uh, not only getting uh, Paracarry, but he also grabbed some Wackabombs. Uh, Big Dilly Donnie, what do you think about Wackabombs? I, think oh, yeah, I also just skipped the boss. That's literally the entire trick. I just... Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Ice, we're talking that's... about Wackabombs, man. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah, don't let it happen again. Uh... Yeah, extremely, extremely useful item. You know, it's uh, it's one of those cost-benefit analysis analyses. You know, your the cost is you're you're hammering an innocent uh, wacka. You're just hammering a bump out of them, but they are extremely useful items. Uh, you get a lot of uh, a lot of coins for them, and they also are extremely useful in battles. You know, they, it's I believe 30 HP and FP they heal, which is just you know unparamounted. Yeah, it's yeah for for this point in the in the game, like chapter two. Yeah, they healed twenty five HP and twenty five FP, and right now we have ten Wait. HP and ten FP. So the fact that it heals, it basically is a full heal. Yeah, it makes you two uh, and plus a times as strong as you are. <laughs> it's just insane. It's uh, it's as if you butter, went to see, uh, butter doing blue house skip master Oshi. Two and a half. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I also hmm, okay. I'm gonna do this actually. Normally, oh, I, I forgot to not... cook. I should. Uh, I'll cook when I get the cookbook. Okay. Normally, I would not fight this 
this Dark Koopa here, but because I am low on FP, I'm actually going to fight him so I can level up and get a max heal. Yeah, max heal and heal is really important. It, uh... It just a, like, <laughs> getting that yeah. five FP can really help it. as well. Tell you what, Max Hillman heal for me. Uh, healing is going to my local um, Einstein Bros bagels and getting a chorizo sunrise bagel to really help me in the morning. Yeah, I'm in the same boat myself. There, it's uh, ooh, wait, you know, I might have morning routine, especially mm. after. You know, Max I just thing. realized I didn't have a. Th I had. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna. I'm Do you not have a Thunder Age? I thought the power block would kill them. Okay, hold on. We're gonna. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. You know what? It's fine, actually. How this much is do... what the people want, man. They want drama. They want. Who knows? It's what's drama. You know what? Will they want that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> is there not just... a Rage in that block you could use? Um, uh, you need, you need Ultra Boots to get it. It's a shooting you know star. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I got oh. An... yeah, you need ultra boots. <laughs> I already got an extra whack a bump, so I'm just gonna actually skip that fight. That was a little bit of a routing error, but that's fine because we're here now. You didn't die. That's really all that matters. Yeah, it happens to the best of us and butter. <laughs> Good old butter. <laughs> oh, well, I just answered three backs and whatever. Um, so I just, uh, I just failed this quiz, so this is just another Peach Cut scene, it's kind of boring. I just failed it on purpose because I caps on him. Um, he has 30 HP, so a really good fight if you were to get, um, you know, with Paracarry, you can get a 12 and a 13 cap, theoretically, which is pretty high. For if I had a dollar, I've seen Ice get a FP drop there, I would now have a dollar. because he just. <laughs> Ooh, so look at that right side now. of your stream, boys. Everybody look at the right side of your stream. Oh. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. You can tell which one of us has Matt Glor IRL and which one of us has not. <laughs> well, I actually haven't met Glor. That's a good point. Yeah. But you've met Butter, and Butter's met Glor, so... That was some clean lava puzzle skip there, Butter. Yeah, Butter is really hammer out some good gameplay right now. Uh, that's Meanwhile, what we bingo. on, on Ice's yeah. side, he is now opening up uh the shortcut to chapter three Ow. get some chapter three stuff done uh fighting all these dark koopas yeah, using a quake bat. hammer it was right here using a quake hammer does four damage to them all and then you and know, luckily these guys have exactly eight hp so i can just do this twice and they'll die and i believe i level up here so yeah these guys give you know, when you're so low leveled you just get a ton of FP from these guys. Like, you got 40 there. Where if you if he was fighting them at the point he was kind of supposed to, if he followed the story normally, he might get, like, a few each. So just uh, huge points, huge plays, and huge quakes. Huge, <laughs> huge quakes. Um, so the you, you might ask, why did I upgrade uh, BP there when one of my goals is have 25 HP? Um, and the reason is because later I'm going to use uh, this one guy called uh, Chet Rip or Rip Cheeto. No, it's Chet Rippo, I think. I always I always get the two mixed up, but um, yeah, he's going to let Rippo. me Chet Rippo. He's uh, essentially going to let me um, like respec my my level ups. So uh, if I have one level up in both uh, in all three stats, I can lower two of my stats by one and increase another stat by two. So I'm actually going to lower FP and BP by one, and then upgrade my HP by two, which will put me at 20 HP. Um, which means I only need to level up one more time in order to reach 25 HP. Get over here. I'm glad you answered that, because I was actually just about to ask, why did you level up BP there when one of your goals is 25 HP? Yeah, so I'm going to be doing that later. Yeah, I'm doing record skip skip, by the way. <laughs> Thank you, Sunset. <laughs> I do not actually know how to do record skip. I'm not good at it. So Butter's about to go for Flare Carry here. Let's see if he gets her. Oh, so close. So he's just a tiny amount below where he's supposed to be, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's still better than having to push that block. I believe is two miles or three points. <laughs> the new metric, as I said. Yeah. Yeah, multiple miles. Chelsea Snowman. 
<laughs> that took me a second, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I had it also, I think Ice also did as well, have a really good Lava Prana fight. Yeah, yeah. my Lava Prana fight was pretty lit. Yeah, yeah you both uh, six cap. So that's really good. So the unfortunate thing about skipping the boss fight is you have to get the card and you can't LZS in this one, so it's another peach cutscene. But uh, it's, it's the way she goes, it's the way of the road, it's all you can do. It's true. Okay. Alright, so I'm doing this because I need to get super boots. Um, so one of the goals that both of us, or one, we're each going to have to do part of this goal, but mystical key and defeat Tubba Blubba um, is something in Tubba Blubba's castle. In order to reach them, we need uh, to have the boots. So I'm uh, doing that right now. And then while I'm here, I'm also going to get Bow. Uh, Butter's probably going to skip Bow, if I had to guess, because he doesn't really need her. I'm probably going to get her just for like a little bit of extra safety um, for, yeah. to make some of my fights easier. Um, cause what I could actually do, I, if I wanted to, I could do chapter six stuff first, get Lackalester, do early Lackey, have the ultra boots and skip the mansion altogether. That might be worth it. I don't know. I, I actually don't know what would be better. Yeah. It's hard to say, honestly, I'm not too sure, but on the bright side, uh, more jeopardy coming up on the right side of your stream. Shout outs. I also have to actually take the the whale back to Toad Town because I have to fight Jun Troopa. Don't worry, that that fight is like really easy. Yeah, he literally he has forty supposedly, but he loses half of it because he is not an Olympic swimmer. <laughs> he is um, not. I, I honestly think Star Storm Shell Shot Star Storm Shell Shot just kills him. By the way. Yeah, because it's so. seven, and then I have upgrade pair carry, which I think so that's five. Is... I think because he has one defense. Yeah. Shell shot yeah. has five, so could you not just star storm shell shot? Uh, yeah. no, no, you need star storm shell shot. That star storm shell shot, because you if you would be one one da one damage short. Mm. Unless you have, I think, because I, I think, uh, I don't know. I because oh, up, ultra rank fair carry has six deal six damage to it. Alternatively, I, I could <laughs> take the pipe, go to chapter two, get spike shield, and then come back. <laughs> And then that do the trigger one. five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it does, it sounds like the people want it. <laughs> Theoretically speaking. I don't even remember that fight without Spike Shield. Like, from the spook route. Oh, what am it's I doing? Been, dude, it's been bad. like literally like two years. Oh, at least. It's been so long since the, sp uh, since the spook days. Like, Dude, spook is just like the worst. I hate spook. Spook's yeah. bad, though. Right, Glory? Spook is bad. Yeah. Bob, tell us about Spook. So Spook, great, fantastic move that Bo has. <laughs> Basically, if you use it, you spam your joystick to the left just as fast as you possibly can. You just grip it and rip it. And, uh, grip and rip it. The hope is that it will spook the enemies and they'll just leave the battle. So you don't get star points, but you don't have to kill them. And if, if you just, you know, you... you you just hammer it as fast as you can. Sometimes, if you get say ninety percent of the way to a, a max spook, you might get you know you might get all the enemies. You know things could be good, but you can also get none of them. And if you get really screwed, spook can just uh, absolutely ruin your run. And it's it's a spooky trick to use. I get it. Also, I'm trying to remember the shop in chapter three is only available after you beat Tobo. I think. Or is it uh, I th I don't actually know. Uh, or is it's... it after you have bow? I think. I think, it's actually... I think it's after you have bow. Where am I going? I want to go this way. Hold on. Okay, so in theory, if I trigger the mansion, go and beat Tubbo, and come back, and then go into the shop and buy Mister, I don't it be fire. think you need to. I don't think you need to trigger the mansion. I mean, I guess you do if you want to get. It... Uh... But because isn't entering the mansion a trigger itself? It is. Yeah, yeah. So, oh yeah. yeah, you do need to do that. But you also need super boots. So. Do I? Well, you need a, you need super boots to beat oh, the man, to beat Tubbo's castle. All oh, right, all right, right. Unless I do the ultra boot strat, which that's true. I don't think it's worth it. In all honesty. Yeah. I think you just you just get the super boots and then skip bow. Plus, you I could also you... like go retrigger five. Plus, I don't think getting lackey would actually really be helpful for anything necessarily. Yeah. So shout out to these random star piece locations. Okay, I need that one single honey syrup. 
Okay, so I know we're an hour in and we have two goals. Don't worry. We're gonna get more goals soon. You yeah. Just doing so well, man. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get Yaki now. Um just gonna get those. This is a pretty hard card. Not. Yeah, this is a not like if I were to say this is a not very good card. Like if Ice and I were just doing a one v one like regular solo bingo, I'd be like, "Damn!" Let's let let's reroll this. Let's reroll yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, I would actually ask for a reroll. We definitely. But it's okay because uh, we're gonna do fine. Yeah, because instead of like suffering alone, you're suffering with friends. Exactly. Um. So something I did that you might be wondering why I did that. Uh. So. Um. I. Oh God! I have too many items. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Why do I still have a Thunderbolt? I don't know. I don't need that. Yeah, right. That was a new one. I've never had too many items in a bingo. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, something I did was I uh, I went back to Chapter 5 after getting Bo. Um, and it totally wasn't because I forgot the letter. That's not it at all, I promise. Um, I, I did that so that I could re-trigger Chapter 5, which let me skip a bunch of cutscenes on my way to Tubble Boba's Castle. Um, because now I'm in... Because... By going back to chapter five, I entered chapter, I re-triggered chapter five, and now I'm past chapter three. But luckily, entering Tubble Bulba's castle re-triggers three, so I just did that to go do something I forgot and also skip a bunch of cutscenes. Long story short, Galaxy Brain. Galaxy Brain. Also, here's the only reason we needed to get super boots was to do that. Just yeah. one thing to know too, we have uh we have our two goals now, so we're holding that pace of about thirty six <laughs> minutes per goal. Um uh, so, I don't upgrade anyone. I don't think I do. Uh, I'll upgrade Bomb out. I hope you guys are in quarantine. You can probably stay up till about probably about ten AM tomorrow morning. We'll be finished. You're stuck with us forever. Yeah. It's usually, it's past my bedtime, but I, I said, you know what? Like they asked for my commentary and I can't turn the world down of a service here so <laughs> god uh, yeah go. so this butter yeah butter's fighting junior trooper right now so that fight's pretty easy um, this will be your third junior trooper butter uh is that yep. correct and then so uh, your fourth three. is going to be chapter three yep okay and then he's also going to be able to get uh fp plus from that so yep which i already have one yeah these goals are gonna be dropping like flies folks or if they're they're do... the... Yeah, you think they're doing them quick now? Just wait. <laughs> Actually, does anyone have to know where this mystery mystery block mystery is in chapter four? Um, time? yeah, it's like so. Uh, yeah, how do you control? explain it? <laughs> is it the same room as the calculator? It's the same room as the calculator. Um, yeah. Wait, where is this, this? Actually, beat anti guy. Um, it's like in a hidden block, like uh, kind of like next to the guy with the cake mix. Wait, do I? Have... I think. Do I have a way to beat? Oh, wait. I'm... You have Star Spirits, dude. I don't have enough for Star Storm, though. Uh, you have uh, literally anything. It's, it's like a single true. Shy Guy with like 7 HP. Just hit him. Yeah. Forehead. It's in a hidden block, you said? Yeah. Um. Here, I can just post a link to the Paper Mario Maps thing. Oh, I do. Oh, wait. That map? Oh, what? Oh. Uh, I was supposed to have Paracarry out. That's my bad. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I've never uh, never seen that done. Uh, yeah, so like in that room, like along the top, there's like two of those like tower things or whatever. It's like in between the two like block tower things. You'll know what I mean. Just jump around. You'll find it. Oh, OK, bet. Bet. Uh, so what I just got was is probably the most important badge in the entire game. It's called Mega Rush. I'm going to use it later. Wait, two but, between the two block towers. All right, Max. Why don't you tell us about Mega? Yeah, so like, like, um, for yeah, there you go. Comes. All right, thank so you. So there's for your two detailed description. Yeah, no problem. Okay, oh, so wait, you got the mystery. You, are you getting? Yeah. Okay, great. Are you getting the cake? Um. Uh, or am I getting the cake? Just you. Just get the cake. Okay. Oh, I guess if you're. I don't know. That's a good question. Let's see. Is this one only two as well? Because. Oh, I could have done the glitch. Yeah, you could have done the glitch, dude. Dang. Oh, well. That's okay. I forget how the glitch actually works, but there is a glitch where basically you can enter that room and all the items are just nicely on the floor for you. 
Yeah, yeah. so um, if you kill any shy guy in that room, um, then and then leave the room and come back, the, the shy guy holding the calculator will, will die. Like, he just won't be there anymore. For whatever reason. Yeah, just for reasons. Also, the frying pan is a goal, you said, that I have to get? Yes, so I'll do all the cooking. Oh, because um, I can I can make a cake. So yeah, just just make the cake right now, I guess, and then like before you uh um before you grab the frying pan. Okay, I got the mystical key. Well, actually, this key's name case, is Yaki, by the way. Actually, in that case, before I oh, it's a Goomba. I actually well, I can just good old whack a bump because I got three earlier. Because it's a four Goomba fight, which is pretty hard actually. Um, but before I do this, because getting the frying pan is a trigger and I'll lose the train, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go to the stations real quick, and I'm just gonna... Get all the star grab... pieces? Yeah, get star pieces from the stations. That's smart. Because chapter 4, for whatever reason, they were like, let's just put star pieces, like... Let's just everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> like, every station in the main hub has a star piece. For some <gasps> I got the jump! So cool. Very well done. That jump does not do anything, it just looks cool. I'm just going to do a wee glitch here where you can paracarry kind of over here rather than having to go down to the bottom of the castle manually. And the reason why the train's actually here, because normally the train's not here, but for some reason, entering the toy box does not count as a trigger for Chapter 4, so the game still thinks I'm post-5. So the toy train is here, but if I grab the frying pan, it would put me at the beginning of Chapter 4, which would mean the toy train would disappear. So... No, That's the frying pan doesn't make the function. the frying pan doesn't make the yeah. toy train disappear, but yeah, it does. Um, no, the 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 key, the storehouse key does, or storeroom key. Oh, really? I was always told it was the frying pan. No, the frying pan re-triggers four, but it doesn't make the train disappear, because that's what we do in all cards. Remember? No, you don't get the frying pan in all cards. I don't think. Yeah, you do. That's how you re-trigger four to fight Lantern Ghost. Oh wait, you're right. The actually, <laughs> you're probably thinking of the oh. storeroom key. Wait, no, I'm thinking because you actually, you like, yeah, I was thinking of it backwards, actually. Okay, so Never I'm leaving. Mind. So I, I just got the key, and I'm just going to leave, because I Tubble Bob is really scary. That guy's invincible. Did you know that? You actually can't beat him. Uh, so I'm going to go do something him. else. <laughs> He's so scary. I'm out of here. How is it fair that it's even a goal if we can't beat him? <laughs> You're right. I'm leaving. Do I even have full HP? I have nine. I'll just block one of his. I'm going to save. Also, I'm gonna use Cooper because PowerShell would be pretty decent uh, against these guys. Go this way. Yeah, smiles in the chat, everybody. Also, Max, oh, just at, at your convenience, uh, just whenever you are able to explain to Perfect. us the logistics behind uh, Mega Rush. Oh, of um, course. Mega I didn't Rush. equip Mega Rush. Uh, this is uh, what. This is blooper. I don't care. <laughs> The logistics are, uh, I just did not equip oh. Mega Rush. Mega Rush no. is, it's a crazy badge. I'm just gonna uh, reset. Sort of, sort of makes Mario, um, a, a glass cannon. When you're at 1 HP, uh, it increases Mario's attack by, let's say, I don't remember, 5? 3, four. I think? 4. four. It's 4. It's 4. And, uh, that makes, uh, basically every attack way stronger than it should be. That's fine. Uh, for example, uh, when you're doing something like power bounce, uh, it'll add uh, it'll it'll add four to Mario's base attack, whatever that is, plus the boots, um, and then incrementally uh, go down. Um, so you could be seeing like a six, five, four, three, two, one bounce um, on something four. like Wait, hello. Um, blooper or any other bosses. It, it basically makes quick work of so many bosses. Uh, the the only downside is obviously you need to be at one HP to utilize that power, um, so you have to be very specific on how you fight these bosses because if you Wait, use the wrong on. item or you uh, drop a power bounce, you are likely to die and waste a life room or game over. Eighteen. Very well done. Thanks. Yeah, in depth. It's uh. It's oh no, I'm at one HP or one FP. What am I gonna do? Uh... Oh my god, this shy guy needs to go away. I want to sleep so I can get my star power back. See all the power that uh, Ice is doing here? Just un unparalleled amounts of damage. As you can see, the blooper is uh, 
He's not dead, but you can see the pain is. He charged. Okay, point. good. He charged. <laughs> Dude, this is a wild and bingo route. Let me tell you. Truly, he's not dead yet. What is this guy doing? How have I not killed this guy? Jump. Alright, whatever. Too. Okay, so that guy has 50 HP, but um, he he he's just dead. Like. <laughs> <laughs> like uh yeah. that's kind of the power of mega rush there it's it's really powerful yeah um, as you can see yeah with power bounce and mega rush it's a it's a deadly combo because the you know the addition to his attack just compounds mm. as you uh as you do each attack there wait yeah, i'm so. Oh, do but are doing some nice spin cancels. That's a, a, a tech in the game that is a good way to save some time. So the movement okay, I'm gonna doing, go you can tell. heal really quick. Um, how much damage does Electro Blooper do? Or Super Blooper, I mean? It's five, right? Or does he do six? No, I think he does five, I think. What are your thoughts, chat? Five or six? Let us know. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You are asking the wrong people. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to heal here thing. just because I want to not die. If you had a question about any Backstreet Boys member, I would really <laughs> be able to answer pretty specifically. But That's funny. this this game, I'm not right. sure. You know what, That's Max? Okay. Tell me why. <laughs> ain't nothing. Ain't, ain't nothing. nothing. You're right. All right. Uh, I'm going to save again. Um... I should have upgraded Bo. That would have been smart. Whatever, Bo's still kind of strong. She does, like, think four. Yeah, we'll see what happens. That's what a lot of bingo's about. You know, you just kind of make something up and you see what happens. Hopefully it's in your favor. Okay, so you can see Blooper is just growing in size, growing in strength. He's a big fella at this point. That is one huge Blooper. This yeah. thing, I believe, is is it 30 or 40 HP? Uh, 30? Yeah, perfect. I think it's 30 for Chapter 3, Junior. Do you remember Ice? Uh, it's 40. 40. That's why you don't listen to me. I just do what the guide says. And this is going to be <laughs> Butter's last Junior Trooper fight, completing yet another goal. And this one only took about 15 minutes to get done. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's his first goal. So for Butter, it's an hour and 15 minutes per goal. Jesus, Butter. So if we maintain that pace... Um... <laughs> Things aren't looking too bad, honestly. So Ice is uh, just about to wrap up here the uh, the biggest of bloops. I don't know about wrap up. I still have a bit to go, but I'm in a pretty good spot. I know what I'm doing. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, if I had hammer throw this. Was so hopefully good. Ice here is going to wrap up the. Uh... Wait, this will do no damage. I'm dumb. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I forgot defense. One good thing about Bo is she has a move that is uh, very good. Saves you from taking damage. So with Bloops specifically, they'll charge up an attack typically. So you can let them kind of charge up. Oh no, I missed the block. Attack. Oh, that's terrible. Now you're only at 1 HP. What are you going to do? Alright. June Chupa is dead. That is another goal. On the board, Butter's first goal. Butter, how you feel about that goal? Oh, I actually forgot to mark off a goal earlier. All right, that's Butter's second goal. Butter, <laughs> how you feel about that goal? <laughs> right. Let us know how you finish two goals so quickly. Oh, but don't hold your breath quite yet, because we're about to get even more insane with our third goal incoming. Unparalleled pace. Yeah. yeah and then um, this should kill Blooper. Oh, wait, did I... I? I totally just messed up the order, but that's okay. Ice successfully counting to 70. Well, like 70, yeah. Yeah. Well and done. Also, before I go this way, I want to do this. I'm going to come over here really quick. One reminder as well you can see the commands in the chat. This is all for a good cause Wait, going towards COVID-19. So if you are able to, uh, definitely feel free to uh, to donate as it is going towards a very relevant and timely cause here with COVID-19 yes. research. Yeah. 
all coins uh, that are all left coins. in the bingo will be donated as well. Okay. Um. Okay. So now I'm gonna start the Koopa Koop quests, which are pretty annoying, but I'll just have to get through them. Uh. Okay. Well, we're doing we're doing chapter two first, actually. That's that was definitely the pipe I wanted to go down. I guess I could have come down here when I did Mer Lovely's letter or Mer Lovely's thingy, which is. My bad, but whatever. I need to do this anyway, so. Uh, it's this tree, I think. Tree? Thank you. Right, I haven't done record skip in a hot minute. Like Butter's doing proud. record skip, skip, skip. What? <laughs> so what he's doing here is going to do what's called a bombette push. I believe it's called that or something like that. Basically, you use Bombette, and then right when she lands, if you go into an enemy, it kind of pushes their original position. And what that allows Butter to do is if he jumps and lands in a very specific spot and presses A at the right time, he can open this chest and actually get the anchor with it, actually having to get the record and play it for the boo and get him to dance his way over and everything, so... Wait, oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I forgot there's a star piece. Oh, I want to do a donate. Cool, I have eight letters. Room. One sec. There's an easy money star piece in here. So Butter's letters. dumb. He uh, he did forget a star piece. Oh, but, and I got uh, the record for swag. How are you guys doing? Oh, nice record, dude. Yo, nice uh, record, Skip, dude. I just need a quick break, guys. I just... Oh, man. Yeah, it's like, you know, tiring playing this game a little bit. <laughs> if that has oh. music from, you know, kind of everywhere, you could say it's a world record. Over on Isis side, we have a familiar scene. Riveting gameplay over here. So, Ice is going to be hitting this for 400 years. Wait, there it uh -huh. is. XD. There we go, thank god. Alright, perfect. I have too many <laughs> items! I don't need a... Get rid of it. I don't need whack -a bumps Actually, Thankfully, I'm going to eat this whack -a bump 400 years in Paper Mario time is not very long. Right. I'm gonna eat this wagon bump here. All right, cool. Spider's gonna be getting super boots himself here. Uh, tough mini game. Yeah. Oh, I have a mystery. I think I need to go up one more. Is that right? No, I need to go over one more. I think. Am I supposed to go? Wait, did I mess up? No, I did not. Cool. Fun That's fact: smart. you can actually do this mini game with your ears closed. <laughs> That is true. <laughs> this is in fact true. Alright, so uh, something that uh, is going on on my screen right now is um, I... So because I'm in a... I'm in a state where I've already beaten Chapter 2, um, it actually just completes everything, like all these puzzles that you normally have to do. Um, but all the doors don't get unlocked. But because I've completed the puzzles, um, I can just get the keys. Uh, so this basically just lets me skip a bunch of stuff that's like, I don't want to do, which is really nice. Yeah, it's one of the coolest states of showing, um, how the game progresses, uh, and showing what chapters you've done. The puzzles are done, but the actual items haven't been collected. So it lets him literally just get whatever items he needs without having to really do any of the puzzles. These stairs mm -hmm. being an exception. Which are some of the most annoying stairs in the game. I hate these stairs. It's so dumb. Because you can't, like, short jump over them, but, like, uh, a full jump is, like, barely too tall. It's really stupid. Yeah, they're just a hair over the shortest jump you can do, so you can't, like, mash or something cool. But, uh... But they're, like, kind of, like, tall. They're not tall enough where, like, you want to do a full jump because, like, you will go too high and then timing is just really awkward. Over on Butterside, he just uh, did Bow Skip, which is an LZS uh, to get around that lost gate that you would normally need Bow um, to unlock uh, in a cutscene. This is fake Bow. She's not actually <laughs> with you. So uh, this is kind of cool because there's just a fake wall here for just it's just there and you just have to know about it. And if you don't know about it, you never get this badge. Luckily, the badge is just, like really bad. And like no one would ever unironically want it, so. But now that I got that, I'm leaving. It's called the uh, Stanley save, I believe. Yeah. So basically, he goes around the back, 
And there's a little cutscene there where Tubba Blubba comes out, eats Stanley. And then you kind of go on your way. But, uh, yeah. Luckily, Stanley doesn't have to worry about uh, Tubba's digestive tract throughout this run. <laughs> oh, no, I messed this up. Uh, okay, good. Doing a little bit of legacy there. And I am not one who has learned the modern day Stanley save, so I'm doing the OG method. But still, gets you got the, the job. calculator, right? Um, by the way? Yes. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure you got that already. Ah! <sighs> so are is... you beating Tubba, Butter? Yeah, whereas Ice got the, uh, the key, Butter's actually going to be finishing Chapter 3 and fighting Tubba, who Ice told us he was invincible, but uh, I'm thinking... I, I believe in Butter. Butter's pretty, Butter's pretty strong, so... Um, yeah, Butter's so the reason... chapter one, so... <laughs> yeah, right. Power. Uh, so the reason that Butter and I both had to do this chapter three is because um, the mystical key is that, that little talking key that I got. Um, in order to beat Tabba Blubba, I actually have to like use the key, which makes me lose it. Um, and so when I use the key and don't have it in my inventory, I will ha no longer have the goal because I will have... Uh, um, I'll have completed the goal... Oh, I'll, sorry, I'll uh, not have the item anymore, which means I will no longer have completed the goal. So we both need to... Um, I need to get the key and Butter needs to beat Tubba so that we complete both those goals. And uh, I actually think that's something that makes uh, blackouts for this game really interesting. Um, so on top of like storyline triggers kind of uh, effectively like locking us out of certain goals, um, certain progressions of story... Uh, make it so that you can't do two goals at the same time. And like this case, one of them being Mystical Key, one of them being uh, Tubble Blubba. Um, so we kind of had to like route around having both of us do it. Um, okay, now I want to give him the tape. I need to buy a Tasty Tonic. Dang it, I forgot to do that. I'll do that when I get when I go get the autograph of Luigi. So I'm kind of doing some boring stuff right now, so you can talk about what Butter's doing. Yeah, so Butter's going through Chapter 3. He's about to get that Mega Rush badge right there. You talked about um, this point is just kind of progressing through the uh, the mansion here, and then he's going to go down and fight Top of his heart <gasps> using the key no. that we mentioned earlier. Did I... Am I stupid? No. I think I forgot to talk to him. Wait, what? My dumb. And Hold on. As you can see on my screen, I just grabbed the maple syrup. And normally okay. you don't grab the maple syrup, but sure. we made a rule recently for Canadian runners: you have to grab the maple syrup. <laughs> hey, a quick shout out to Canada. <laughs> oh man, yeah. everybody That's butter, 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 butter himself yeah. actually those in Canada, so to, so he's allowed to say that. <laughs> so he's the only one that actually has to grab the maple syrup. As yeah. a top Canadian paper runner, it uh, it really is a disadvantage, but he does what he can with uh, the yeah. circumstances. We can do it as like a little bit of like a balancing tool. Mm -hmm. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna go for the not new text glitchy <laughs> cool thing that people do. Whatever you want to call that. Can we get some James B twenty? Wait, I need to that? beat. Wait, I need to beat Master Three. I just thought about that. Oh no! Um, that was like okay. one of the first things. Do just get stun caps easy? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'll figure it out. That's gonna be hard. Oh man. No, I think it'll be fine. I have three repel gels, and oh. one whack a bump, and oh. star power. Oh, you're wyvin. Wyvin. Nothing yeah, you're better wyvin. than wyvin. It's not even gonna be hard. I love it. You're right. You're right. When I'm wyvin. And the only thing that can make it better is if you had, like, I don't know, like, a power block or something. True. So Butter's in a race right now. He just awakened the angry Tubba Blubba. Yeah. And uh, we're going to hope he can beat him out of the castle and uh, kind of make his way out of here alive. He's really fast, so... But that's why we grab Speedy Spin, so we can outrun him. <laughs> yeah, yeah without Speedy Spin, speedy it's actually speed. impossible, and you can't beat the game. Exactly. It's required. Nobody knew that. Okay, I'm gonna do this thing, which is, you just what? kind of, like, paracarry, and then... I'm wow. in Chapter 3! Oh my god, dude. And you're I'm in Chapter so 3. Stupid. Wait. Ice is correct. I am in Chapter 3 currently. 
He's not remembering what state his game is in. Are you about to do well, Skip? To get to chapter five? Yes. He wants to get to, yeah. <laughs> early, early well. That no. Yeah. So we can get into yeah, sorry, early four. well. So Ice uh, writing on the fly here as an absolute genius. He's about to yeah. do a, this See, is that loading zone storage. He was not expecting to do this incredibly hard trick. Yeah, this trick is one of the hardest in the game because Toad Town's actually laggy. So doing these frame perfect inputs with the lag makes it ah really, really difficult. He's getting really close, but not quite. No, that's oh my god, dude. Like the, the place you have to be is pretty precise, so Oh man. the bottom um I could I could wall. just do it a different way, but it's slower outlined against the seam that you want to kind of get right to the top of with these jumps. Yeah, this is why you typically want to play on Wii U. <laughs> because this actually doesn't lag. That's true. That's true, Blue Bob. Uh, there we go. So he was able to clip through there, and then it's not done yet. It's still a pretty tough over. trick. It's not yeah. even over. He then has to ride the seam the whole way down. Including which, jumping uh, around a loading zone. Yeah. Ooh, spicy four cap on butter side. So holding a really precise angle, then he wants to land below the loading zone here. Just moving little bits at a time, which is... If if you go anywhere like too far to the left at all, he's gonna clip out. Very nice. Uh, interesting. Should be. There we go. Yeah. Also, there we go. So now he's gonna be in the water. And then you can go right into the loading zone here for the whale. That. Uh, is right, so I did not there. expect to to have to do uh, early whale, but um, so that's early whale. <laughs> so the game now um, thinks he is going into chapter five, which will then put him in a state where he can now enter chapter four, which he wasn't able to yeah. do earlier. Uh, so, so unfortunately, what I had done, so that was a, just a little bit of a mistake in routing on my part, but um, because I had gotten uh, Yaki or the the mystical key. Um, I was no longer in a, uh, I was in now in a chapter three state. And because I was in chapter three, um, the, uh, the door to Chai Guy's toy box was not open. Um, so my only other option was to re-trigger five. Uh, so I could have gone back to five through the sewers, but, um, doing early whale is a little bit faster if you do it fast. Uh, well, and, I, and I thought it looks cool. cool to show so. off. Yeah. It was also cool. So. Yeah, uh, so luckily I don't think storage else. is is very hard on its own, but early whale is especially hard because Toad Town is actually laggy. So, um, where with normal ones you could kind of keep a, a specific rhythm that's the same every time, but when there's lag involved, it's uh, that's not the case. Wait, hold on. Do I have something else I can? Um, is this an item? That's not an item. Dang it! So good. I need like a bad dumb item that I can just like. Oh wait, there's a stone cap here. I think. Tobaba is dead. There's a there's a stone cap in the top right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like to Tobaba to passed Wait. away. But Where's the stone cap? It's like on like the. It's do you remember what? You... Oh, it's the blue station. Oh, okay, got it. It's like in the top right. It's kind of. I, like I think I think the... I remember where it is. I just I just remember what station it was in. Yeah, it's like on the cross of like a little like the white lines. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, Tobaba is dead, and thankfully, <laughs> saying Next. defeat boss. All it means is just literally kill X boss or X enemy. But if it said complete chapter three, that would mean I had to get the card and watch the peach cut scene. So, Which is thanks. just awful. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, so luckily the card was nice enough and just said beat Tubba Blah Blah. Don't worry about the whole chapter. Wait, did you? Sorry, did you make the cake already or no? Bad. Um, I did not. But okay, do you need I, me like, to make a cake or do you do you no, have a? I have a, I have a cake mix. You haven't done. Um, you did frying pan though, didn't you? Yeah. So like, you can't give her the frying pan, but you can't give her the frying pan, or else that'll retrigger. Well, if I'm like post, if I'm, I'm in chapter. I think. Oh, I think. Now. Yeah, I think if you're. Yeah, so just just like retrigger five or something. Well, like I'm Again. pre three or like pre four. Will that give her the frying pan? Hit yes to her. Yes, it, it, I believe it will. Oh my god, okay. why do I have too many? I have too many items. Right, okay, I'm gonna start taking some items. All right, well, let's be just just oh, go yeah. retrigger five or something. 
I'll say, a little fun fact, if you... <laughs> Even if you Whatever. have the key to unlock the, if you have the key to unlock the blue house, if you have not unlocked it, you can't unlock it from the outside. So I do blue house skip. I need to do blue house skip one more time. Honey and butter does it first try. Like it's absolutely nothing. Try. That trick is extremely precise and one of the most difficult tricks in the game. But uh, not for Buter. All right, so. And then I need. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what I was doing there. I just kind of like how jelly disasters. Super. Actually, what I can do here, because I am a man looking for star pieces, I can actually get <laughs> sushi and go over to island and get a star piece real quick. So I think I might opt into doing that. Oh, oh that'd be yeah, that'd be a good way to reach sugar five. Um, what am I doing? Oh, I need a tasty tonic. And then I need to get Luigi's autograph. While they're doing this, Max, why don't you tell us about uh, the stone caps? Oh my god, I would love to. There's nothing more that I would appreciate in this life than telling you guys about the stone cap. Now, the stone cap is an item in Paper Mario. It is, it is a replica of the Mario cap. When Mario wears it, he gains the stone status, transforming into a stone statue. Mario is invincible to any damage for three turns. However, he cannot attack <laughs> while wearing the stone cap. It can be bought at Toe Town for 30 coins and can be found in Shy Guy's Toy Box and J Jungle. Are you reading this from the wiki? No. Oh, okay, okay, perfect, perfect. oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. That's so funny, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so I just got a mistake also. So a mistake um, in this game uh, was that really disgusting green thing. Uh, this one right here. Um, where if you cook an item that like... If you cook... Try to give Tasty an item that like can't be cooked. You'll get a uh, a mistake. Um, which restores like 1 HP or 1 FP. I don't actually remember I what it restores. But it's like really gross. And doesn't actually do anything. So I just had to grab that. So I just grabbed, I just bought a uh, um, Dizzy Dial and cooked it because it's not an edible item. So it turns into a mistake. Luigi just ripped her out of the bedroom there. Yeah, seriously. Just goosed it. Also, Lombardi said we now have double sushi on our card. Yo, let's go. Shout out to double sushi. Double sushi. Can you get some wish, double sushis in the chat, actually? Which, if I know anything about sushi, is that having more than one sushi is a good thing. This is true. Fun fact, I don't like sushi. I, sh I, I love the partner, but the the uh, cuisine, the, the oh. cuisine, I strongly dislike. Uh, uh, I wish I didn't, funny. just for, you know, just the cultural availability of uh, it being a popular dish these days. But... Can we get Blue Bob out of here? <laughs> mm, I might actually agree with that. It's cold oh, right now, but you know what? Some uh, some some shrimp fried rice. Oh, mwah. that I'm a big fan. So I, I can always go to a sushi place. I'll just eat some shrimp fried rice. Dude, that's like Jaycog who gets like who got uh, like a fried rice plate at a pho restaurant. It's like Jaycog, what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> he was over visiting one time, and I posted a food pic, and Ice was like, "Hold on, what are you doing, Jaycog?" <laughs> We're getting some partner <laughs> Twitch partner slander on our stream right now. Jaycog is another very good Paper Mario runner turned SMS runner. Um, but uh, turned SMS runner. Turn SMS runner. Okay, yeah. I need one more star piece, which I believe. Did you get the one by uh, by Feisty? Um, and there's also I believe right here there is one somewhere. Dude, I there's yeah, there. there's a bunch. No, it's oh. in the next screen. I'm pretty sure actually. There's like just so many star pieces around. Yeah, it's like right here. There it is. Because I know well, we it's kind of crazy. For a, will we have time for a quick donation, Reed? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Go ahead. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. We're, our new total is now $897 with Sunta147 donating $20 saying, Hey, Ice, can I get, can you get Attack FXC? Uh, I already left the desert. Oh, man, I need. Uh, I'll get attack effects A for you. How about that? That's not what he asked for, but all right. Yeah, I'm, that's I'm not going all the way back to the desert, dude. Wait, I'll go back to the it? desert for Sinta, actually. No, where is and it? I'll get attack effects A for him. Yeah, he paid. What was that? Forty-seven dollars. He said twenty dollars, uh, I think. But yeah, twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, twenty. Oh, yeah. I'll go get it. I'll get. I'll get it for him. I'll get. If C you don't do a. it, I'll I'll turn on my game and do it for okay, you. Okay, so got it. I'll load all up right. a file. 
I and I'll get up attack FX C. It's in the yeah. desert. Yeah. Shooting star summon. On there the is Paper Mario four Wiki and read you the description. <laughs> Here we go. Also attack FX C is a badge in Paper Mario. It can be attained by hitting the a hidden question mark block in dry dry desert. The area is in uh what? Oh, this is. Oh my god, this is just riddled with grammatical errors. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man. Just um, riddle. Okay. Well, I need to go back to the desert anyway here to, to yeah, get the next thing really from the lovely. Quick. So I'll uh, I'll grab attack FXE here. Straight peckled the spelling. Right. There we go. Edit. Flower there saver. we go. There's Not one good thing about Wikipedia. You see an error, you can just fix it. So one good thing about Wikipedia is that I can just post the entire first chapter to Dante's Inferno in the attack of <laughs> <effects. laughs> C Wikipedia page. Okay. This one's for Sensa. Attack of XC is not on the card, but I'm grabbing it just for him. Yeah, shout outs to Santa, shout outs to uh, Palmy, and shout outs to Speedruns Live, is who's uh, raising money for COVID 19. Very oh, relevant cause right now. And uh, definitely support uh, goes yeah. a long way in times like this. There you go. That's for you, Santa. All right. So yeah, that's just a uh, yeah another another one of those like little sound effect badges. Uh, they cost zero BP to equip. They're just kind of little aesthetic things, kind of like the um, the L and, and W emblem in TTYD that changes Mario's color to Luigi and Wario. Mm. Uh, I always thought those were well, those were pretty neat. That's a spoiler. Okay. I'm actually playing through TTYD for the first time right now. Oh really? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, did not mean uh, to spoil it. Yeah. Those very powerful badges that that are in the game. Yeah. Well, also, I mean, there's no point really finishing my playthrough now, but <laughs> also, I made a little error. I do not have upgrade bombette, but thankfully I grabbed sushi, and there is a upgrade block in Toad Town, so I'm gonna go grab that. There you real go. Quick before I do that. Okay. So I'm doing one of the really annoying goals that I uh, usually don't like doing, but this one is old photo. So a lot of the stuff I've been doing for the past like ten minutes has all been just to get this old photo from Koopa Coot. Uh, just, you're basically this guy's errand boy, and he pays you, like, basically below minimum wage. Um, Pretty much. So, like, it's borderline slavery. But, you know, you're doing it because you're just a really nice guy, and you know, always help your elders. True. Um, be a good Samaritan, a good citizen. By the way, Butter, are you gonna grab a shooting star while you're there? Because I don't, I have no idea where I can even get one. I, just want to I'm, out. I mean, yeah, I can get one. Like, I know there's the one on the way to the maze fight. Like, can you just grab that one? Did you get I, Ultra Boost, Butter? No. I don't uh, think you need I, it. I do know there's also a shooting star like on the the balcony where you fall off in Prologue. In the oh yeah, world. that's true. One spawns there. Yeah, you can grab that when you're getting the tape. Yeah. Okay. You could just complete chapter six in its entirety, then go to chapter seven, and then right before Stop. you enter the palace, get the Stop. one that's there. Stop. He's that right. would be a good idea, right. actually. He's right. It He's only right. Take, like, it's only like, what, probably 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah, probably something like that, only. All right, so now we're on the fun chapter known as chapter five. Chapter six, actually, might be numbers are a hard thing. Numbers are hard. Chapter six is... Give some good vibes. It's the most nostalgic chapter for me from when I was a, a child playing this game. But uh, do we get in speedruns? It's actually has some pretty technical parts and it's actually kind of tedious, which I, um, I never realized as a child. Okay, what are my next Koopa Koop favors that I have to do? Actually, why did I not just use whatever? Mm -hmm. All right, so for that specific Koopa Koop favor, I had to go all the way to Shooting Star Summit, talk to that girl with the crystal ball, then go all the way back to the desert, get the crystal ball, then go all the way back to Shooting Star Summit, and then come all the way back here so I can deliver it. And now he wants me to go back to Toad Town so I can just read some news. And I can go back. Oh, man, this is just the worst. I hate this. Also, I'm going to fight some of these dark Koopas, I think, so I can level up a bit. 
These moles have what, 12 health? Oops. Or is it 10? Yeah. Uh, it's 12. 12, okay. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. How can I fight these guys? I don't know if I can. Wait, shoot. Um. Dang it. I need. Oh, man, I need star power. I need to sleep, probably. How much does. Would Bombad's normal attack not do three? With. Uh... It would, but then I, I, I don't know how I would kill them, is the problem. Hold on. I have an idea. I don't know. Oh, sorry. I was, I was talking to Butter there. Oh, sorry. 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 My bad. Actually, no. I'm going to sleep it. I guess it would have been slower, and if you're using the gym and jelly anyways, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Actually, I think it might be 13 HP now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it's 12, because I know um, in Glitchless, you there's the one that you just jump times two, and that kills it. And it does six each. You're right. I'm going to sleep here, just because I, I need my star power back. Shadows to sleeping, surprisingly not that slow compared I know, to right? like using a life stream or something like that. Well, yeah. also uh, sleeping restores your star power, which is going to be really important for because uh... I so I, I'm I'm I need 31 star power or 31 more experience to level up one more time, and that level up is also going to be really helpful for fighting the master. So um, uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be huge. What are, what are you thinking of fighting to get up to there? Uh, the Dark Koopa's here. Yeah, that's actually really smart. Um, and the reason I wanted that star power was so I can do this. And I think I need to kill both of them, so I'm gonna need Star Storm for both these fights. Did you upgrade Bombed? Bombed is upgraded, yeah. But Do Power Bomb power doesn't bomb actually it? Power Bomb doesn't actually work on the um the spike tops because they're immune to fire attacks. But they um, died in the Star Storm anyways. So yeah, they'll die to the Star Storm, yeah. So that barely didn't... Yeah, so I'm going to have to do this other fight to the right, which is fine. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, how did I not first strike that guy? Okay. And currently, I'm basically what? just doing Galicia's <laughs> chapter 6. Yeah, do you see four. that? Yeah. That was really weird. Makes no sense. You really yeah, that was so that. weird, dude. Whatever. And then I'm going to powerbomb here. So chapter 6, uh, what Butter's in, is actually really tough. There's a lot of really tough encounters to avoid. Uh, the bees are pretty tough just because they're really quick in the way they react, and the clouds just take up a lot of space. Hi, Cloud. Um, Hi, Cloud. Hi, Cloud. Oh, I need this so move. it's uh, it, it has some technical oh, movement, but it's, uh, it's a different... Uh, it's kind of just a tedious chapter more than anything. And yeah, also, go I'm... off of the clouds, they do like a little curl usually when they uh, notice you, so it it's like a little awkward when you're not used to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, like, there there are a few kind of cool sequen sequence breaks you can do in Chapter 6, but to get the the quest items that, you know, the specific one that's re required on this bingo board, Waterstone, you, you have to do the Chapter Glitchless, essentially. Um... Dude, I have so much more I have to do. Are you kidding me? Yeah, oh my some god! Some where you just come in, you get like lackey, for example, or you do you know, just one small thing and then you leave. But to actually beat the chapter, you actually have to pretty much do the whole thing glitchless because there's certain items to actually spawn the beanstalk that goes up to the top that you actually have to get at different points in the chapter. And doing any one glitch makes it so you can't get that item. Yeah. So it's okay. it's really weird the way it works, but so I forgot about this. Um, um so yeah, there's a lot of Koopa Koop favors you have to do to get to the old photo. It's it's a mess, but um Yeah. Old photo, like when you do a regular bingo, you see that on your card, you're like, Nope, not gonna yeah. touch that row. See, but the thing is there are there are goals that are even further down that are even worse. Like glasses. Gotta hate doing glasses. That's true. Yeah, this card is Really not that great, but that's. I think we're gonna be we're gonna be. Is. Yeah, we're gonna be getting close to that two hour two ten estimate, I think. But um, we'll. I definitely think we'll be under it. We're we're actually pretty close to being done. I know it looks like we have a lot of goals left, but um, there's actually there's not much of, more. Yeah, a lot of quick things. I think mm -hmm. uh, the fourth degree card is one of the biggest ones, and the fact that you're yeah, coupling that with uh, diploma yeah. favors. Yeah. Oops. Please.
Whoops. I think what Bingo is, it, the most important thing of Bingo is finding like synergistic uh, things where you can kind of tie one goal into another. And I think it really makes routing oh. really interesting. All right, so I think um, this this Kubaku favor is one of my favorites because Kubaku says, hey, these bombs next door are really annoying. Can you go tell them to shut up? So you go talk to them and they're like, no, I'm in love with Bomb at more. Like, no, I'm in love with Bomb at more. And then Bomb at just says, hey, shut up. And then they stop. And that's it. It's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm, oh, I'm coming up to the end of this, this long side quest, fetch quest thing. I'll finally be getting the old photo here. I wonder if it's more worth it for me to beat Electro Blooper or, or just go to uh, Goompa Village normally. Uh, well, you need to get Luigi's autograph. So you're yeah. going to need to like, go back and forth. So probably fight Electro Blooper. All right, so I just got the old photo. Um, the last thing I'm doing now is just fighting the diplomas, which should be really easy, I think. Butter makes avoiding that cloud and that uh, be a lot easier than it actually is. You can kind of track them a specific way, where you'll see when he goes by this cloud the next time. That uh, actually, Butter, kinda, I'm just like, gonna grab the cake. Sorry. You, you kind of aggro them, and then as soon as you do, you actually avoid their hitbox, and they just kind of sit there all confused, and then you can go by without them really moving. But knowing kind of the range of their hitbox is actually a little difficult, and kind of turning around as soon as you hit it. Can uh, can take a good amount of practice, so he makes it look a lot easier than it actually is. Where is this thing? Hello? Is no, very there's true. a thing here somewhere. There it is. Jeez. Okay, I want that. Also, the water stone is now mine. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm so just gonna grab the cake really quick. Easy into uh, Vaporeon now. Which is <laughs> actually true. a goal. Oh, I actually have to. I almost forgot with the flower saver. Oh, that's important, yeah. Yeah, I did nothing with that until just this very second. But luckily, MBD. I have to go grab a, another blueberry real quick. And then I have to head back to the east pathway where I first went through. Wait, no. Max, why don't you tell us a little bit about the east pathway? <laughs> well, it's not the west pathway. <laughs> that's absolutely right. It's, uh,. You know, it has some different enemies than the the West one, so. Big shout out to that Amazy Daisy. So does that... Uh, you know what, I actually haven't fought that since I was a, a little child. No. The gold one. Does that give you, like, extra FP or uh, star it points? It gives you a bunch it? of star points. Yeah, star points. Yeah. yeah it's it's uh, a lot of star points. Yeah. Is it any stronger? Like, any extra... I, it has 20 yeah. HP and, like... 10 attack or something yeah, and like one defense damage it does a lot of damage yeah um, so it's a it's a heifer yeah there's right. a there's a pretty cheesy strat you can do where you um you use a uh, dizzy attack yeah and then it'll be stunned because it also has a chance to like run away from you yeah um which is really silly but like uh yeah so uh you can dizzy attack it then it'll be stunned it can't attack you and then you can just like star storm shell shot star storm it and it'll die yeah mm. It's kind of similar way to those who played Pokemon, like Latios and Latias, where it's <laughs> just like, it's like, all right, I finally found you. Okay, I'm gonna run away. Peace. It's just easier to find. True. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is fine. I have no star power, but that's fine because Electro Blooper is free. This is true. And all right, I also so now... have like a ton of items. All right, so now I'm going to do the, the hardest part of the game, uh, which is uh, fighting the the dojo. Can I? I'm going to take off Speedy Spin so I can put on FP+. Plus. Yeah, the dojo is a really, really hard fight. <laughs> and as you work your way up, they get progressively harder and harder. And um, by the last and the one, final... it's insane. Yeah, the final fight is... Uh probably about as hard as uh uh final bowser um so i'm gonna have to kill him at like level four so we'll see how that goes yeah it's the final bowser fight is really complex but um his attacks aren't super strong if you manage them correctly but uh by the the last level here he just does insane amounts of damage he has a ton of health and 
you really have to be strategic about everything. But first couple fights, getting there luckily is uh, but Dude, okay. I have I have super boots. I was not ready for that. Uh, okay, that was my bad. I did not expect to have super boots there. I I thought I had normal boots. Luckily, this so fight my bad. Isn't, isn't really that bad. Okay, I'm actually gonna head to Koopa Village because I forget if I talked to uh to Koopa Koot already or not. Do you know how the caps work as far as ones you get later on the? Um, the, the master, ma like, so as the master increases in difficulty, uh, his, obviously his things increase. I think, uh, the first guy whose name I think is Chan, um, you can get up to a hundred bounces. Uh, Lee has, you can get to like a decent amount of bounces. So I think it's probably close. 13? It's probably close, similar to, to a uh, blooper in all honesty. Uh, master one, you can consistently get like five or six. Okay. Master so two, probably like, like your troopers and stuff like that. Yeah. Thinking about how different this game would be if I uh, followed suit to Super Mario RPG, where this, um, like, the tower bounce the had no cap whatsoever, and it would just required hitting the frame window. Yeah, because it becomes frame perfect, doesn't it, in Mario RPG? I believe so, yeah. Okay, right, so that's that that fight. Also, in SMRPG, like, the... There's a... Paper Mario RPG. The, uh, like the frame window just gets smaller and smaller as you go, but it's still possible. No matter what. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. In SMRPG, like, you, uh, it ends up, yeah, just becoming frame perfect, but you can go infinitely. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And in, in the speedrun, they, like, require, like, a hundred bounce on a few bosses, which is, like, re kind of ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't there like an item you get for bouncing on an enemy like that much or something? 100%, yeah, you get the super suit. Yeah, like and like that mad, that's like a re mad overpowered item in that game. Yeah. Great game. You guys should play that game, not this one. <laughs> not this one. <laughs> oh my yeah, let's god. Do you, you guys should just do a bingo of that right after this. Ice, <laughs> Ice Wind is getting a raid. Yo, show us the Jerkro. Jerko, Jerko, why game. are you raiding? Oh my god. With a party I'm... of 15, thank you so much. Jerko, Jerko, what are you doing? Jerko's so stupid. Hold on. <laughs> here, I'll, I'll thank him. Hold on here, po 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 post, a, post a link to this stream, please. All right. I think I still have it copied. Yeah, there Ooh, we go. I have Luigi's autograph. Um, Did you get 25 yeah, I... HP yet, Ice? I'm going to do that after I fight uh, oh. Master. Well, I have nothing else to do, so I guess I'll do that. Okay, cool. That means I it's 32 coins, I think. I think it's 37. Or is it 37? It's 37, yeah, yeah. Well, either way, I'm just going to go get some whack bumps and sell them real quick. I've lost track of how much I've done. So I've done three shell shots, that's 18 plus 12, so I've done 30. Okay. 30. He has, what, like 50 or 60? He has 50, yeah, yeah. 50, yeah. And the next one is like 99, right? 75. 75 oh. and then 99. Oh, yeah, shit. Okay, oh, so that's shoot. 42. Yeah, Master, Final Master is kind of crazy. Final Master is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, fighting at such a low level is just requires unparalleled amounts of strategy. And uh, Master One is free though, so <laughs> I don't care about it. Yeah, you. yeah, things aren't too bad yet, but yeah, just wait, folks. Things are yeah. going to get intense, and I hope uh, but... hope you can clench for all of us. Yeah, but now I'm going to go... So after every fight, I'm going to go heal because uh, I kind of need to. This guy is obviously really strong. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to go heal. I'm just going to load up on whack bumps because why not? That's a good idea. If I had a dollar for every whack a bump that Butter had, I'd honestly have, like, a, what, three? Well, currently, <laughs> currently, you'd have two bucks. A solid two dollars. Two dollars, okay. On my way towards three, though, so... Yeah. I'm actually gonna do this. Okay, so here's gonna be... So, so Master 2 still doesn't have defense, so I'm actually gonna use my favorite partner, Bo. Because uh, Bo has this really good ability called Out of Sight. And also, because Master has zero defense, I can still deal five damage, which is a little bit uh, mm -hmm. less than Paracarry, but it doesn't use FP. Yeah, Out of Sight That's is not what I huge. Alright. 
Should I just do the dojo as well for fun? Uh, did you get 25 FP already? Or HP? Or well, I'm like on my way to doing that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, it's just gonna be me finishing the dojo, which will probably take me like another like five to ten minutes. Um, I just have two more fights, so. Uh, I should. I think I'll be fine. Like, I have. I have. I'm pretty decked out for this fight, so. So yeah. all that's really left is the dojo, and then Ice just has to go and get the FP and BP traded for HP. Um, Butter's actually doing that right now, so it's just oh, gonna Butter's be doing the dojo. Okay. Yeah, I have to just get the dojo to do it because his services are not free, unfortunately. So we're actually ahead of schedule. As we had said at the start, is going to finish around 10 a.m. tomorrow. We're, <laughs> we're pretty early. Okay. Like it's yeah. not even one yet. And, uh, so now you're going to see the ma the master um, go Super Saiyan a little bit. Uh, he's Saiyan he's turned power. gold. It's uh it's not looking good. But luckily, so chill out here. So I used this last fight and I didn't really explain it. But chill out is really overpowered. Honestly, the star spirits are like horribly imbalanced in my opinion. Because some of them are just like grossly overpowered, and some of them just suck. Like some of them are just terrible. Um, like uh, Lullaby. Lullaby is not very good unless you're fighting Kensi Koopa. Um, yeah. Chill out and Starstorm are like broken. Smooch is just not very good. Like it's kind of ridiculous, but um. Yeah, Smooch is great for a casual playthrough, but mm -hmm. not really in these cases. It's also great if you mess up on good old Chapter 7 Junior Troopa. True. Yes. Very um, true. But yeah, so chill out what it does is it actually lowers the enemy's attack by 3, uh, which is really nice. Um, uh, am I going to die to this? Do I need a whack up up here? I think I need a whack up up here. Alright, well, I technically yeah, have up here. 25 HP now. I assume you're oh, there you go. the, uh... I'm gonna- I'm trying to see if I can get into peril somehow, but I don't know how to get into peril against this guy. Um, and I'm trying to save my repel gels for... Uh, yeah, you definitely want them for the final one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so that did one, two, three, so if I did be one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, I'm actually really- I'm actually fine here. Okay. I have a strat. Check this out. This is gonna be- I'm about to game this guy out of my mind. It's gonna be so sick. I'm not ready for it. I don't think you are. I'm getting ready, but I'm not there yet. I'm gonna go fight the dojo as well, just cause, why not? Oh no, I missed the block. I only have six HP. What am I gonna do? This is terrible. Ah. You hate to see it. Dude, his attacks are doing five. I'm gonna die in two whole turns. No, I don't block any attacks. Ice, what are you Wait, doing? I do not have power bounce on, LMAO. Yeah, what happens? You're gonna be at one HP. That's I'm terrible. gonna be at one HP. What am There's I gonna do? Nothing oh, no. worse. Whoopsie. There's nothing worse than being at one HP. Totally forgot. I don't know what you're gonna do. Let's put on power bounce before this. I'm really banking on this killing, by the way. This next power oh, bounce. You didn't killing. kill him. Yeah, you can go out of sight. Thank God. You're going to survive one more turn. You should be good. You should be good. Bro. Let's go! Oh, thank God. I, <laughs> <laughs> I was so scared I was going to die. Oh, yeah. Man. Okay, hold on. Um... So now we're gonna do. This guy should have honey syrups, I think, right? Yes, he does. Yeah. So this fight honestly should be almost easier because you have three repel gels. So I do have three repel gels, and I have a stone cap. <laughs> yeah. So instead of using out of sight, Boo can just or Bo, sorry, my mm -hmm. sincere apologies to you and your oh, families, Boo. can uh, just keep going. And. Uh, I think repel well, now I actually have to, I do have to switch to paracarry here though, but uh, actually, hold on, sorry. So I'm gonna have. Uh, let me do some quick maths. Are you just gonna shell shot with paracarry, or? I don't know do if that? I can't. I don't know if I have enough there. FP. I do. I need. Oh shoot. Does, um, does he have defense? He has one defense. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, you would have to. Oh my god, hmm. my power bounces are ice tier currently. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> They're rude. Right here. Referring to earlier in the bingo. Uh, I'm going to save and we'll just see what happens. You got this. That's fine. Yeah, so this is definitely like the hardest fight in the game, in my opinion. Uh, I you definitely think it's. Diploma, right? I got the fourth degree card. So I'll mark that really quick. Oh, so Diploma is the last one. Okay. Diploma is the last one. So now I'm fighting Master uh, 5 or Master 3. Fifth fight, Master 3. You see this, folks? One left. Mm. Can one we get more, the sub 208? The magic number. Magic sub number. 208. I'll, I should kill him in uh, five power bounces, I think. Yeah. yeah. I feel like. Oh, God. Okay. I feel like if we didn't have Diploma as a factor, this card would have been much quicker. Oh, yeah. Diploma's huge. Yeah. 25 HP is pretty big, too, to be honest. Ah, this is a little scary. Yeah, four cap is. Stone cap, man, it's fine. Ooh, yeah, I don't really like this. Um, well, five, four, three, two does what? Nine, twelve, fourteen. Yeah. So that's seventy if you do it four times, or five times. But I don't think I have enough uh, repel gels to do that. No. Um, plus pair carry. Yeah, that's actually kind of. I guess as soon as you're done with repel gels, if you can smooch. That might yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna handy. try to do. Yeah. Hopefully, you have enough star power by then, because you need what three? Yeah. Should be fine. Uh, Butter, can you go get a cake? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I might be eating that. <laughs> yeah, we, we chill. But it's so tough when you're under level. It's crazy. All right, so I will get some Betty Crocker action going on my side of the stream. I do nothing. Yeah. I can't really do anything here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of not in a great position. I think. I'm trying to think how much health he has left. Like he's probably he in the twenty. He has 32. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shit, yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Shoot. I'm sorry. I don't know <laughs> the rules. We got him. No life shrooms? I don't have a life shroom, unfortunately. No, Twenty-seven, so a pair of care put him to twenty-two. Do you have power Jesus. jump? Uh, I do not have power jump. Um, shoot. Uh, I might be dead. No, this isn't gonna kill him. Uh, yeah, twenty-two is a bit Dang. much. Hmm. Hmm. I thought I would have enough saved? there. I did save, of course, yeah. Okay, thank god. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have just gone into that with nothing. Uh, maybe I'd buy one more... One more uh, stone cap? Yeah, one more stone cap, and then I think Paracarry should have been enough. Yeah, sorry about yeah, that. That's just... Man, it's just a hard fight. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, typically a fight you never would do in a normal bingo setting. 
Yeah. I... Actually, I'm gonna go buy a whack -a maybe? No, because I if I can stay at 1 HP for longer... Oh, and I have a better idea. I'm just gonna... Stone Cap really didn't let you do much, though. That's the thing. That's because I had to I had to switch to Paracarry is the problem. That's true. Yeah. 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 I don't have enough money for the second one. Would be pretty it. useful then. Ugh. Okay. Man, this sucks. I'll be right back. Okay. Just be two seconds. Dang. Wait, what am I doing? And you already got all the repels, like, playing. Yeah, I have three. I have three repels right now. I'm gonna grab one more stone cap, but I need, I'm a little bit short of money. That sucks. Man. Well, you can just go and get a Wacka, sell it. Yeah, I don't really think I need to do that, though. Um, I am gonna have to sell an item, though. I know what to sell, though. Just, ah, oh, man, that's so out of my way. Ah, no, yeah, we're definitely gonna go. A little overestimate. That's unfortunate. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. I thought I was well prepared for the fight, but I, I think if I had a life shroom, but I accidentally, I had to get rid of my life shroom for uh, Koopa Koop, which is really stupid. Well, it's not really stupid. That's just like one of his requests. But it's kind of annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I should be good if I have one more stone cap. Um, yeah, that's like one, one thing that happens when you get diploma. On a blackout card, is that this goal is just insanely difficult? Yeah, someone has to do it. It's kind of the problem. Because <laughs> like, if you've ever watched an all bosses run, when you do that, you have like power plus, PFD down, yeah, bow out of sight, and like ultra rank para carry. It's just yeah, yeah. But I think yeah. I should be good. I think. I'm gonna, I think I might. I think I'll be able to do this one more time. I guess well, with one more try, I'll be able to do it. If I don't get it this try, then uh, we could. You might just want to call it there. And that that's my my mistake. Yeah, um, Ice will forever be shunned to the Shadow Realm. Exactly. Hard fight guess, though. So, in the meantime, since I'm not really doing much, I will give Master three a try because I also got fourth degree card. <laughs> yeah, honestly, fourth degree card is like really easy. Diploma is just like impossible, though. Not yeah. impossible. It's very, very difficult. It's yeah, it's quite crazy. Just like the difficulty scale, going from diploma and um, fourth degree card. Like fourth degree card is not as difficult. What's need to get the diploma? So you have to complete the dojo, which means completing the two kind of like minions almost, and then you fight the master three times, and he gets increasingly more difficult every time you fight him. Yeah, so the screen on the left is my screen, as I'm fighting him right now. Uh, and this guy is just like ridiculously strong. He he just like way yeah, stronger yeah. than he needs to be. He yeah, has 99 yeah. HP, which is the same as final Bowser. Yeah. And he has attacks that can just deal insane amounts of damage. So when you're as low leveled as this, you, you don't get to deal a ton of damage. And your HP really isn't that high either, so it takes a ton of strategy. And uh, you know, uh, in a casual playthrough where you're you're probably double the level of this at the very least, it's not terribly hard. But and I believe if, did I really just drop that? Oh my if god! I'm, I'm not so wrong, stupid. I believe Final Bowser with not with no Star Rod active is like weaker than Master Three. Yeah, actually, he, he this guy just deals an insane amount of damage. Yeah, honestly, um, he some attacks where he'll attack two or three times that each deal five to six. But then again, Final Bowser can heal and all that kind of stuff, so if you don't know the algorithms or whatever there, you can add a lot to it. Yeah. All right. Well, I have murdered Wacka, unfortunately, but you know sometimes it's the way she goes. Wacka has passed away. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unlucky, TBH. I guess for because why not? I guess I'll 
I'll upgrade <laughs> Sushi because she's kind of cool, I guess. You know what? Goombario deserves it. Unfortunately, oh, A button has been pressed. Yeah, the button has been pressed. How are you feeling this time, Ice? I'm actually feeling pretty good. I think I got him this time. Hopefully. Have you been calculating his HP? Yes. That's okay. Ooh, four cap. Uh, should be a huge difference over like a like a five or six. It's only two HP. Um. What's he at? Uh, he's at 17 right now. 17, uh... Eh. I mean... I think stone cap's the best move. Would yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stone cap, I'm gonna stone cap yeah. place. And then, I, and then I switch to parakarry, shell shot him, and then I'm gonna skydive a couple times. Yeah, and you have a smooch. And then, I ha then a hammer, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll, then I'll smooch, and then I should be able to kill him. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll kill him this time, don't worry. You wanna keep oh, power man. as long as you can. Oh yeah, yeah. Then plus five, and then yeah. Okay, I'll kill him. I'll kill him. That's good. Oh, you're chilling then. I should be. Okay. Um, well, in that case, instead of fighting master, I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can remember how to do sushi peach warp because that'd be kind of cool. But ice, you know, they don't call him ice for nothing. Oh man. Yeah, exactly, Sensa. But in this row, we actually both, well, technically didn't have to get Mega Rush, but there was no reason not to get Mega Rush. Okay, just in case I messed up my math, I'm going to switch back to Bo so I can out of sight in case he doesn't die. <laughs> Were you, like, doing mental math, or did you use a calculator? No, I, mean, I just put it all into a calculator here. Yeah. All right, that's the diploma. Woo! <laughs> There you uh, go. Well, done. Death on well him. done. That's that's just my my bad. Uh, and that's it. Very very hard fight there. Um, but yeah, that's the diploma. That's time. Sorry, I should have said that. That's my mistake. So Max, uh, what are your thoughts on Paper Mario Bingo? This is my first time seeing this game, and I really. <laughs> yeah, you're a you run what Sticker Star regularly? <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I went a little over. That's 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 my fault. Uh, I got a little messed up on diploma. Uh, my strategy wasn't good enough the first time. So, um, but uh, yeah, that's Paper Mario Bingo. Indeed, it is. Hope you oh, guys man. enjoyed it. I'm so glad I actually beat him that time. Whew. Yeah, that fight is that very looked, scary. It looked like it was getting down to the wire. So it was. Out, yeah. Yeah. No, wait. Uh, hey, well, thanks for having us on, and uh, yeah, hope the rest course. of the marathon goes well for you guys, and uh, I would definitely appreciate it, and best of luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 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 I think this event is tons of fun whenever we do it, but uh, yeah. Well, we Better look forward to seeing you guys next got... time. <laughs> Great, Final thank thoughts. you so much. Thank you.
Wait. Oh, okay. Ah, there we go. We should be live. Hello, everyone. Uh, you're currently watching Bingothon Summer 2020. Uh, I really hope uh, you just enjoyed uh, the Paper Mario Blackout Bingo Run uh, that you just watched. Um, and up next, we've got a Subnautica Blackout Bingo uh, by AJ Camera. So definitely, uh, this is something to look forward to. Um, so, Palmy, is there anything uh, you'd like to say? Because I believe this is this is the end of her shift uh, right now. So, is there anything else you'd like to say before you go? I would like to complete the monologue of Pika. <gasps> the man, the myth, the legend. The man who organizes, brings people together, and only tears apart the most serious of heinous crimes. This Pika straw. The man you're about to witness as your current host is going to blow your mind with the most amazing donation reading skills possible. Organizational skills that far outpass anything you've ever heard. And most of all, the man can type faster than the swiftest cat in all of the land. This Picastroph is one not to be trifled with, but only to be taken as the master of all things to come. He is your leader, your organizer of the highest degree, your Picastroff, the man, the myth, the legend. As a host, I respect this man, and I do see, chat, that I think you, you alone, will be able to understand and grasp the true capabilities of this master. So, I, as your faithful Palmy, leave you to be graced by his immaculate presence do a dang chat enjoy your beloved picastrof as your host for this evening or morning back to you I... oh wow palmy you're making me blush <laughs> that was an amazing that was amazing an amazing monologue right there and your voice skills are you, you just put your uh, your VA skills to the point. <laughs> wow, now you've, you've just raised the expectations a lot. So now, <laughs> I, I'm just saying I'm not going to be as awesome, and for me, it's going to be totally improvised. Um, but what can, uh, can I say, you know? Uh, Palmy, you're just one of the most positive influences uh, in this bingothon. Uh, you've always, you're always the kind of person that will always manage to spread positivity uh, whenever possible. You always bring out uh, the best in us and you always uh, have done a very good job at uniting us because I always see, um, despite how sometimes things may be difficult when it, when, when it comes to organizing, uh, you always are here to say, hey, look, maybe we're doing a good job. And I think that kind of motivation that you can bring uh, to the table is something amazing and you just have a presence um, that is just really, really motivating when you're here. And that is something that um, is very beneficial in this kind of environment. And I'm very bad at monologue, as you can see. Uh, I'm trying my best. Okay, I'm sorry. I, ca I can't live up to your monologue. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're already making me the happiest little palmy in the world. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll bite you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Wow. <laughs> awesome things that are thankful for. I'm thankful for this awesome thing, what we're doing. And we also are got another awesome thing coming up, which is AJ Chimera with his next run. Setup seems to be ready with them. So uh, whenever you're ready to get straight out, start a Pika's drop, I'm going to call it a night. Chat, thank you guys all for uh, staying in and viewing everything. I'm super excited to see if we'll hit $1,000 tonight. And uh, with that, I leave them in your care, Pika. All right, sounds good. Well, everyone, uh, uh, I'll be here to read any of, of your amazing donations if needed. And as Tommy just said, we're just about uh, to start Subnautica Blackout Bingo. So everyone, get hyped. This is going to be a fun run. And uh, see you all very soon.